Hello, hello. Koi nichiwa, everybody. Josuiji Shinri from All the Stars English Guild Tempest. Hello, hello. <laughs> um, this is temporary. I don't know where I'm gonna be. I have no idea what the game is like, so I don't know what the uh, the user interface is. Um, so I'm gonna move myself later on if it turns out that I'm like blocking uh, subtitles and stuff. But yeah. Koinichiwa chat. Uh, a couple of announcements I need to make first, real quick. Uh, this stream is a no super chat stream. So you will notice that it has been disabled. Uh, so we're gonna just follow along with the permissions of the publishers and there will be no super chats. But thank you so much for the gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Can we get some more hearts in chat for all of the gifted memberships? And if you received one, please enjoy the channel badge and the emotes. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard so much about this. Ah, I love to see all the hearts. Love to see it. I have heard so much about this game. Um, oh, Husano, thank you so much for getting the memberships. Rene Alicorn, thank you so much for re-upping the membership. About the schedule to eat loneliness of the throne, you're not alone. Many have been there when the phone update happens. <laughs> hey. Oh, Koidi, thank you for re-upping the memberships. Thank you, thank you. Hiding in your walls, Okoidi. Watamira. What, what, Tom, Iera? Thank you so much for giving the membership. Don't like playing horror, but FF2 was my first horror game simply because got baited with the DVD color Two Pretty Girls with no in game screenshots. <laughs> uh, hopefully, it's fun. Um, let's see. Oh, wait, hold up. I have to. What? There. It's a little loud. All right. Not allowed to super, no. It is part of the uh, part of the policy, so no super chats. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let me go and double check. Oh my gosh, it's so loud. Okay, you know what? I think I just have to might I might have to manually do it. <laughs> yeah. Hope you enjoy the game enough to uh, do the rest of the series. But one thing at a time first. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Squibs, thank you. Okoidi, thank you for reading the membership. All right, chat. It means louder jump scares. I don't know if they're like jump scares or not. It's supposed to be in third person, so like third person for the most part, and then like camera first person. But we'll see. Is this your first fatal frame? Yes, it it is my first one. Oh, should we use the eye tracker? Hang on, hang on. Oh, I totally forgot. I should. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me see if I can get this working. Eye tracking, turn it on, and test, test. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Chat, give me just a moment. Uh, I forgot because I, I because I replaced my monitor. I have to. Uh, wait. Let me see if this works. Okay, there we go. There we go. Um, because I had to, I replaced my monitor. I had to like recalibrate the eye tracker. Blink, left, right. Uh, do do do. Sorry, Jack. Give me just a minute. Ex Machina. Hello, all the ghosts are hot. Looking forward to that. I hope they are. <laughs> the giver of Yepi the membership, Okoidi. Congrats on the new monitor. Thank you. It was on sale for like super cheap. I think it was like 56% off. Um, So it was like kind of wild how cheap it was. And I was like, okay, I can't pass this up. Um, But like, I love, I love sales. All right. Is it showing up? Uh, it's a good deal. Yeah, it is. Oh no, I'm so sorry, chat. Uh, I did not think about this until just now. 
So let me see if I can get this to work real quick. Do, 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 do. Okay, and on. Does it show up? Hey chat, I'm looking at you now. <laughs> Yay! Alright. Okay, it's properly calibrated, and we should be good to go now. He sees us. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I might have to raise the monitor just a little bit more. That way I can kind of see everything properly. Alright, there we go. Alright, chat. Are we ready? Are we ready? Here we go. I'm going to raise the volume a bit for myself. Um, but if it's too loud or too quiet, please let me know. Just go ahead and like throw it into the chat. Here we go. This work is a game. Oh, that was wow. That was fast. Lurking in the deep, Miyu Hinasaki. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, I think one of my hotkeys must have gotten crossed over because it muted as opposed to unmuting. All right. Spirited away in the vicinity of Mount Hikami, people have been mysteriously disappearing without a trace. One such girl is Miyu Hinasaki. She awakens to find herself in an old half-flooded building. Got my mouse, please. There we go. I'm excited. I went ahead and turned the AC off because I wanted to like talk to you all clearly without the filter. Nadi Okwiti. I'll be on a main street tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by and Okwiti. Oh, is that hair? Oh, that is hair. That's a lot of hair. Oh my god. Spirits in the water. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, my controller's vibrating. Right stick to look around. Uh, one, two. Okay. <gasps> whoa, whoa, what the heck? <laughs> Left stick to move in the direction you want to walk. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Left stick to head towards the exit. Oh my god. Can I, like, sprint? Ah. 
Why is it so intense? I have to find a way out of here. <laughs> Why was it so intense and all of a sudden it's all clear? Like, okay, uh, wait, sorry. It's been a while since I've used controllers, so I have to like look down and remember where the buttons are. <gasps> Minion! Thank you so much for the 20 gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. Uh, wait. B. I'd better not go back that way. There must be another way out. Ooh, can we get some more hearts in chat for a minion? Thank you so much. Okay. Ooh, what is that? B, check. It looks like there's a cave wall on the other side of the latrice. Or the, the, on the other side of the lattice. I can see some stone statues out of the darkness. I must be underground. Now, how do I get out of here? Ooh. So how do we end up here? Minion, thank you for stopping by. Hope you get lots of sleep. Lots of rest. Good sleep. And there's a light at the end of the corridor. Maybe there's a way out that way. Oh my god. <laughs> They're chasing after me. I have to get out. Hold... Hold what? Left... Left trigger. Left trigger to run. Okay. Oh, wait, do you just... Oh. It just runs forward, okay. Press L the trigger to point camera straight ahead. Wait, they're just chilling though. Uh, do I have... I don't know if like, if, like, I try to like figure out what the controls do, but I don't know if there's anything. Are you just gonna chill here? Just, just vibing. Do they attack if you get too close? Not this way. Gotta get out of here. I mean, they're just chilling. <laughs> hmm? Is that... Oh my god. Uh... <gasps> Whoa. Move the L suit to turn around back. Hold down left trigger to run. Okay, okay. Go, 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 go. What is happening? I was like a f There's a lot of stuff happening and I'm not really sure what's going on besides like the fact that we have to survive. What are all of these? That looks like a trap. Like, it looks like it'll fall down on me if I get close to the box. Yeah, the game started at 100. Ooh. Box? Oh. Wait, we're 
underwater. Hey, heads. Thanks for stopping by. Wait, this isn't black water. This is just hair. Oh my god. Oh. <gasps> the control is like shaking. I don't know, can you hear my, like, controller vibrating? It, like, shakes whenever there's a ghost nearby. Miyu Hinasaki has disappeared. No one could hear her cries for help as she was sealed into the shrine on the top of a mountain. The mountain is where the events of this story take place. We follow the fates of three people. Yuri, Ben, and Miyu. This is a terrifying tale of the supernatural. Oh. Lurking in the deep. Lots of pretty ladies. Just a little bit, yeah. First drop, a vanishing trace. Yuri Kozukata. Shadow reading. Among the residents of the villages at the foot of Mount Hikami, a certain unique ability has been passed through the ages. This ability, known as shadow reading, enables the user to view the shadow or trace of someone lost in inexplicable circumstances. This is not unlike psychometry, Psycho psychometry? practiced elsewhere. Yuri Kozukata accompanies Hisoka Kurosawa, a woman who possesses the shadow reading ability to an abandoned inn on Mount Hikami. I also chat like slight thing. Um, I noticed that the eye tracker is like a little low. Like right now I'm looking at the word elsewhere. It's like aiming at the spot right below elsewhere. So if the eye tracker is there, it like know that I'm looking at the place at the top of the circle and not the circle itself. I don't know why it's a little bit not calibrated well. Yeah. All right. Sensing Yudi could in time become talented at shadow reading, Hisoka takes her along on an assignment. Yeah, like right there you can see it. Yeah, just above the orange circle. All right, here we go. Where is this place? <gasps> I thought that I'd be scared of death. Oh. But I can't even cry. <gasps> what? I am alone. <gasps> no. In the end, I am alone. Uh oh. Will end it all. Alone. Yuri? Huh? What? What we're looking for should be in here. <gasps> this is an excellent chance for you to take the lead. Here, take this. Ooh. Ah. This is a camera obscure. It will let you see the unseen. <gasps> She's really pretty. Including the clues that will help you find what we're here for. This is your opportunity, your first case. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do well. They always have those like good symbols on the lens. Let's start with a little practice. 
It works exactly like a normal camera. Give it a try. Just hold up the camera. Uh. Once you're in photo, once you're in photo mode, the viewfinder appears. Move right stick to the get The camera yourself. obscura photographs the netherworld, a whole other world separate from our own. Yeah, look at that. Hisoka Kurasawa. That world that we see through the lens is not unlike the afterlife. Oh. Make sure not to draw too much interest from the things you see. If Leia, you aren't careful, Okoiri. you might be drawn into the netherworld yourself. Okay. Like. Oh, you can move around. Okay. You. Move right stick to find the second O. Circle? Wait, where do we find that? Is it in the... Inside the area? Oh! Photograph both O's simultaneously. Oh, are they like weak spots? Use left right bumper to hold your capture area vertically. Capture... Oh! <gasps> Portrait shot. Yeah. Oh, so they're like weak spots? You can now hold left trigger to lock on targets with the circle or the square, but then right trigger to take a photo. Things around here seem to have changed. It wasn't exactly lush, it never used to be like this. Oh, okay, okay. So be revered as sacred ground. When it became a tourist destination, now it's known as a place to commit suicide. Uh Dang. Apparently, only those kind of people had to be in the desert. Okay, so you can collect like circles and then once you have the square, it like focuses like this. And then it like focuses on there. Feel free to take more pictures. Okay, let's check out some of the area around here. Oh, this is actually very complicated. There's a lot of. Ooh, wait, what's this? Oh, you get to like change film? Type 7, infinite film. Oh, okay. Wait, chat. Check it out. Uh, at the bottom right here, I can like use the D-pad to like change film. I think I only have Type Seven. Um, and then like you see how it charges up and fills the bar up. It's like a charge. I'm guessing it's like a charge attack. Like, okay. I can't take a picture until the line is full. Ah, okay. One. Two, three. Oh my god, it takes like four seconds to charge up. Oh no. Take this. You're going to be really slow. <gasps> Post mortem photograph. It's a token. It will help lead you to what we're looking for. Okay. Now don't panic, but be sure to stay on your guard. Go on and head inside. Press three lines to display the map. Okay. Floors. Okay, okay. You get stronger film, but they have ammo that can run out. Ah, I see, I see. You can also press left bumper and X to open snap mode. Okay. Welcome to snap mode. Here you can freely position and manipulate the characters and ghosts to take the perfect picture. Camera operation mode, you can adjust the lens and frame, whereas in character operation mode, you can reposition characters. Once everything is in place, remove the menu display and get snapping. Oh, what? <gasps> oh, it's just like a camera mode. Okay. Uh, blood stay, luxurious, photograph. It's like a Polaroid. 
high saturation, contrast, blue. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? Oh, it's like an inverted filter. Whoa. Oh, scary. Filled in grain. None. Okay. Character operation mode? Standard pose. Oh, you get to adjust. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. I don't think we'll really need to use this add and snap mode, yes. We'll just keep it with the f uh, the main, like... Uh, whatever the gameplay mode is. Does it have to be this? The outfit's cute? Yeah, it is, isn't it? There's, like, a... Uh... What does it say? There's like a trend, I think. Or like, not a trend, but there's like a style of fashion. Don't worry. I'm right here with you. There's like a style of fashion. It's okay. like horror game. Come on. Let's do this. Protagonist outfits. Uh, everyone, why is everyone so pretty? Okay, camera. And then... Okay. This is a post-mortem photograph. It's not just a normal photograph. It was taken to mourn the dead. It's why Ren sent us here. All right. But it seems that this photo came from somewhere around here, and he wants us to see whether we can find it again. Ooh. All right. Um, postmortem photograph. It just looks like a coffin. There's barely anything in the actual photograph to like suggest where it is, other than the coffin. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. Is it around here? <gasps> There's more stuff around here. Huh? Oh, is that you? Oh, okay, okay. Chat, there's like a little, um... Sorry, that's really loud. Excuse me. There's like a little peripheral... Uh, thing. Like, on the side, like, on the side of the screen. Like, if you hear sounds from behind you. Ooh. of physics on that what the heck wait uh camera why okay i don't understand i feel like i just want to stay in camera mode just to like be on the lookout but i can't see anything the field of view in camera mode is so small Yuri, wait oh i can sense something hold down right trigger to find the trail. It's called a trace. A shadow of the past. The token is showing you the way. Oh. These traces can lead you to the right path. Okay. Let's follow that shadow. Follow the trace. 
These are really tall stairs. Uh, I want to go explore, but we gotta go check out this place first. We gotta follow the trace. This reminds me of that one YouTube video that was like, let me show you a tour of my house. And then as the tour goes on, it's like, there's a, there's a, oh. Innkeeper heading inside. Was that a shadow of the past? Echoes of the past. In places where traces of the past are very strong, you may be able to view echoes of the past. Photographing them will earn you photo points, which can be used to upgrade the camera. Ah, ooh. Wait, do you see that right above my head? Like right there? What is that? It does it points to Oh. Hold right trigger to pick up item. <laughs> Why was that so scary? Why is it so, like, dramatic? It's so dramatic, chat. Mount Hikami's downfall. An old dusty book has been left in the hallway. Maybe someone dropped it. Ooh. Mount Hikami has long been considered holy ground. For centuries, people have been drawn to the many sacred shrines and places of worship, as well as natural features, such as the twilight peak and the pool of purification, which have themselves been treated with great reverence. The mountain was also popular with tourists and mountain climbers for its beauty and of its abundant clear waters and ancient, mysterious forests. Worshippers and hikers alike used to rest at the Ichiru, Ichiru Manor, a hot spring resort near the foot of the mountain. Now the inn lies desolate, devoid of visitors. The mountain never recovered from a devastating landslide it suffered many years ago. The shrine road to the summit was cut off, and the flow of the water throughout the mountain was altered, forever changing the landscape. New roads that were under construction had to be abandoned, and Ichiru Manor was buried under a slew of rocks, resulting in numerous fatalities. Among those lost were the family of Ichiru Manor's proprietor, effectively putting an end to the business. Mount Ikami's days as a tourist destination were no more. Instead, the mountain gained notoriety as a suicide spot. Ooh, oh my god. Perhaps because it was traditionally a destination to which the dying would venture, the mountain is now a place for those wishing to end their own lives. By extension, it has also become a place for thrill seekers interested in the occult. What the heck? Ooh. Man peeking through. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let us continue exploring. Ooh. Oh, what is that? <gasps> Doorknob. What is that? Oh, that's creepy. It's really cute, but also it's so creepy. Okay, that wasn't anything though. Anything on the ground up there? Oh, the roof is so low. I think this is just the just like the general inn. So like it doesn't really like all the people that just died here. It's not not the the woman in the postmortem photograph, but just the various people that may have passed away while here at the Why is it so creepy? Just open the door. Okay, I guess we have to learn how to crouch in this section. 
press B to crawl through to the other side. Okay. All right. Isoka got through fine. House gave me my king. It's great. Maybe it's in this room. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Battle, it's been like years since I played with the controller, so I have to like keep looking down to figure out where B is and A is. I don't know where those are. The door is locked. It appears we need a key. Yes. Try using the camera obscura. Wait, what? How's that supposed to help? Psychic photographs. When you look around through the lens of the camera obscura, you may notice it reacting to objects which are no, not normally visible. Lock on and photograph them to expose places or items that have connection with. Find the locations of the photographs and you may discover some clues there as well. <gasps> oh. Left trigger to lock on. Oh, it's over there. Okay, okay. There's something in the photo. There's light coming out of the closet, and there's a doll on top of a chest of drawers. This might be where the key is. Find the place shown in the photograph. It's somewhere in the building. To view the photograph again, open the main menu to go to the tokens tab. Yuri, you go on ahead of me and look for the key to the door. I'll wait for you here. Okay. Crouch. Woo. Oh my god. Oh, what the heck? What the? Oh my god. What the heck? Okay. I'll check down the hallway just in case. Just hanging out. <laughs> you are so extra with that. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. The doll is still here. The doll hasn't moved yet. Yet. Oh my god. Key on our vent keychain. It might open the door from before. Go back to Hisoka. Oh, it just tells you. Okay, that's convenient. Nice. <gasps> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold up. Uh, how do I... Where's the menu button? Okay, settings. Sensitivity. I have to raise the sensitivity a lot more. This is way too slow. And then photo mode, vertical. It, it's turning way too slow and I don't like it. I want to be able to like snap. Snap around. It's still a little slow. Hang on. Let me try it. Let me erase that bit. Right. Okay. Now I should be able to snap from the doll. Okay, okay. This feels better. Why is it closed now? What? Oh, hey, it was open just a while ago. Oh, 
<laughs> what the heck? Okay. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Hisoka? Hisoka, I have the key. Okay, I can see her legs. So she's not like dead or anything. Beat a crouch. Searching with the camera obscura. Oh, There's something there. It could be hidden, invisible to the naked eye. The camera obscura will react to items that are normally hidden from the eyes of the living. You can bring those items back to the world by photographing them in the place they were taken with the correct angle and position. Like here? It says correct angle and position, so. Oh! Oh! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there it is, there it is. Right? Almost? Okay. I gotta get the orientation. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh! There's a lot more like mechanics to the the photograph than I thought there would be. <gasps> this is what we came here for. We shouldn't stay here any longer than we need to. Something bad's gonna right. happen. Let's head back before it gets dark. Okay. Okay, but I... But before we go... Before we go, though... The alcove wall has come loose, revealing black soil behind it. This whole room must be buried. Is there anything interesting? No. Okay. I bet something bad's gonna happen to Hisoka. <laughs> what the heck? I swear you're gonna go to the camera but face gonna be staring at you. Right, yeah. I Yuri, you. searching for objects like we did just now might be easy, but searching for people is much more difficult. BDK, thank you for the gift of membership. Psychometry allows you to see the psychic imprint as a shadow. Never follow after the shadow of someone who has been spirited away. <sighs> you might end up seeing something you wish you hadn't. Okay, bro, I think you're the gift of membership. I think you're the gift of memberships. The windows in this hallway have all been nailed shut. Ooh. Wait. I know you said don't follow, but what if we... Let's head back. <laughs> she just teleports. Okay. And then she goes that way. But if we keep going here... Let's head back. 
Okay. <laughs> no, I want to explore. I want to know. No, no, I missed it. No. There was a spookums. Wait, I wonder if I can do this and reset it. Let's head back. Okay. There's Hisoka, and then does the ghost play here again? No, the ghost doesn't. will try to attack a If a ghost grabs you, counterattack by photographing it. Okay. Maybe taking more will exercise it for good. Photograph the ghost's weak points to deal damage to them. The capture area rectangle at the center of the screen is your area of attack. You cannot take photos if you're out of film. Really, Ooh. Ooh. okay, and then Focus on this small piece. Oh. oh. Spirit fragments. Spirit fragments break off when the ghosts take damage. After time, they are reabsorbed. Photograph the fragments before that happens. Targets and shutter chance. When five or more targets are in view, taking a photograph will knock back the ghosts. The capture area will go red during shutter chance. Keep adjusting your position so that you have at least five targets including the ghost and spirit fragments in view to trigger threat chance. I don't see any fragments, so I guess we'll trigger the fragments. Well, that's four. Ah, there we go. Black. Oh. Fatal frame and fatal time. When the capture area flashes red as a ghost is attacking, you can take a fatal frame shot. You need to capture the ghost mid-attack. Apart from the knockback effect, fatal frame shots trigger fatal time, where you can take photos in close successions without using film. Fatal frame shots are useful when spirits are too close for you to trigger charter chance. Attack range and attack power. Camera obscure only has effect on ghosts within a specific range. Ghosts that are too far will not take any damage. The bigger the target, the more damage the camera will deal. Get closer to deal more powerful shots. Okay, so that's 34 damage. Oh. Wait for it. 
Oh, 170? What? Whoa. It's a shotgun? That's kind of cool. Soka's just chill. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have brought you here. <gasps> I am alone. Wait, so she never jumped in the end. That's where the black water is coming from. Oh, hey, it's a dude. Oh, that dream again. Um, Mr. Hojo? Hisoka came by a little while ago. Oh, Hisoka. What does she want? She found the photo book. She did? Yeah, here. Take a look. <gasps> Why does it not show us the photos? Please, show us the photos. Okay, finally. Oh, from his dream. It's from his dream. While learning about the shadow reading from Isoka, Yuri used the ability to retrieve an album of post-mortem photographs from a ruined inn on Mount Hikami. The album was requested by a certain Ren Hojo. As Ren woke up from the bad dream, he found himself tormented by uncertainty. Was it really just a dream? Or a suppressed childhood memory? The question has plagued him for some time. Costumes? Costumes, what? Oh, there's a costumes, what? Punk ensemble? Oh, you have to unlock them? Mm. Cutesy goth swimsuit blue? Oh my god, there's a lot of costumes. Accessory? Cutesy goth? I want to. I need to see the kitsy girl. Wait, is there anything else that I'm supposed to be? Oh, groom's outfit. <laughs> Miyu Hinasaki. Is there anything else that I need to use the uh, camera points for? We can't see them before unlocking. No.
Let's check out the cutesy goth one. Dang. That's like a lot more... A lot more goth than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Dude, wait. Do we just play through the entire series like this now? I like the normal outfit a lot more. I'm going to be honest. I like the normal outfit a lot more. It's... This is a bit too much. <laughs> Let's stick with the normal outfit for now. Uh, back. Okay. Second drop. Find Fuyui Himino. It has been several days since the incident at the inn. Hisoka is out on the case. A young girl comes to the shop and finds a worried Yuri. Yuri is given a missing person case, something Hisoka forbade. Oh, there's normal, very easy, easy, and normal. Okay, there's no, like, harder ones. All right. Oh, you get to buy items, too. Mirror stone that revives you when you die. Cleansing flame removes wetness and taint. What? Removes wetness and taint. What does that mean? Are they, like, status effects? Pure water fully restores your health. Herbal medicine restores some health. Type 14 film. Old film lost most of its power. Type 61 film. Old film. It's not effective at exercising ghosts. Takes time to load. Wait, then what's the point of this one? Loads quickly. 800 per shot can only be purchased once. A lens that allows you to experience spiritual phenomena? What? I don't understand. I guess we'll, we'll buy them later. But I didn't realize that this thing costs so much. Let's go. I like her haircut. The haircut's really cute. Alright. A few days have passed since Yuri's introduction to the shadow reading at the abandoned inn. Since then, Hisoka has gone off somewhere and hasn't returned. Yuri worries for Hisoka but isn't sure how or where to start searching. As she sits waiting at the antique shop, a girl named Huyuhi Himono, Himino shows up and claiming to have enlisted Hisoka to help her find a missing person. Missing person time. Oh, this is a cute shop. I like this. I want a store like this. I want to sell haunted antiques and things. That'd be so much fun. Excuse me. Hello? Um... I'm looking for Hisoka Kurosawa. Is she here? Oh, I'm sorry, but she stepped out. My name is Fuyuhi Himino. I've been waiting for her to tell me if... if... she could help me find someone. I still haven't got a reply from her. You're looking for someone? She might have gone to the mountain. Mount Hikami. Mount Hikami. Someone told me that they saw my friend there. It's an infamous suicide spot, isn't it? <gasps> no. I don't know why Haruka would go to a place like that and without even saying a word to me. Uh oh. Don't worry. As soon as Hisoka gets back, I'll tell her. No. That's fine. I can't wait any longer. 
I'll go look for her myself. <gasps> no, you can't go too. Huh? Come back. Okay, I can understand why you'd be worried. A missing person case. He so good left a few days ago and hasn't been back. Maybe this is what she's been working on. Hisoka's room is upstairs. Maybe she left some clues as to her whereabouts. Okay. <gasps> Alright, let's go quickly find Hisoka's room. There it is. Nice. Take. The Deathly Mountain. A book about Mink Mount Hikami was lying on the bookshelf. Seems to be up at the tradition surrounding the mountain. Mount Hikami has long been feared to be haunted. In the past, it was said that sleeping with one's feet facing the mountain was taboo. Watching the sunset behind the mountain, too, was believed to invite forth beings from the netherworld. Today, the mountain is said to call to those fascinated by death. Countless rumors abound by a peer of people spirited away to that accursed peak. They are said to venture to the mountain alone, leaving behind no trace in themselves. Some say the bodies of those who vanish can be found at the bottom of the lake of the departed on the mountain summit. Since becoming a tourist destination, the prevalence of such frightening tales did seem to diminish for a while. Even so, Despite fleeting status as a tourist hotspot, Mount Nikami is yet to shake its reputation as a cursed mountain, a place of death. Today, it has become a popular place at which to commit on alive. I don't know if I keep saying that word, like YouTube will catch it and like bonk the video. So I just want to be a little bit more cautious. What is that? On alive at Mount Ikami. How does a place become famed for on alive? As more people die, the place will gain a reputation, and people drawn to these spots out of a desire not to be alone in the de in the end. Interestingly, these unalive spots are rarely known as hot spots for spiritual activity. This is what makes Mount Ikami distinct from the others. It has both a tradition and has long been associated with ghost sightings. Then, there are these so-called Maidens of the Black Water. It is said that if you are found by one of those Maidens, they will lead you to your death. Those caught in the Maiden's gaze will never leave the mountain, or so the rumors go. There are also tales of specters on Mount Hikami who will relive their own deaths. Those who do not die in accordance with the local practices become cursed, forced to relive their final moments for eternity. Many of the people who have been kept from committing unalive on Mount Ikami claim to have seen a maiden, or one of those looping specters, and felt a strong compulsion to unalive themselves. Perhaps it is because of these stories of maidens and ghosts that the mountain continues to be a popular spot for those looking to take their own lives. Let's go check out some of the other things. Can we find more? Ah, oh, it's a PC, but she's the CRT. I remember those times. Yudi, why are you so extra? Stop that. Just open the door. Oh my god. She takes her sweet time with the door. Like, just, just open it. It's too much suspense. You can look down the shop from here. Wait. Welcome. Okay, nothing seems out of the ordinary. Oh. <gasps> oh, that's so pretty. The doll, not so much. It's kind of scary. 
two two ten p two two fifty. That's really pretty. Look at that. A pretty kimono hangs in a rack. Ooh. Are all these clocks like different? Sweet dramatic door movement. <laughs> I like how there's enough tech that we have like security cameras. Oh. Radio static. Wait, what? It's like. Maybe it's downstairs. Alright. Oh my gosh, the camera's a little bit wibbly. Can't open that. It sounds like the camera static is behind us. door oh. Hisoka gave me this room when I moved in it used to be her bedroom it's been a while since I moved in but I still haven't unpacked anything honestly this is a mood oh um when Bettle's done moving I want you to call him out for this because I know he's going to live out of the boxes for like at least a month. And he's not going to unpack, finish, like, he's not going to finish unpacking. So like, be sure to call him out on this. <laughs> he's going to talk about like how he's missing some furniture or like cutlery. And then everyone's going to be like, wait, you don't have cutlery? And he's going to be like, oh, I do, but it's still in the boxes. Like, I know he's going to be like that. Hisoka put this desk here for me. This used to be Hisoka's bedroom, but she freed it up for me to use. Bed? Check. Hisoka doesn't like it when I don't leave my bed. I'll do it later. Orange light floods through the window. A big pile of cardboard boxes. I haven't touched them since I moved in. <laughs> there are some baskets and file cases on top of the dresser. He still could set them out for me, but I'm not sure what to do with them. Because we're still like a trainee, right? We're not like actually hunting around. You live here! Why are you so dramatically opening the door so slowly? Wait, we came from that side. Go down here. Hallway. I think that's a door. Oh. What is that? The back door is locked as usual. Okay. And this one is. This route leads to the bathroom. Hisoka prefers a large bathtub but it's too large for me to relax in easily. I would like a big bathtub. I can't lie, like I can't lie in the bathtub because I'm, I'm too big. I have to like uh, raise my knees in order to like fit into the bathtub. Ooh. There's a clock on top of the old dresser. The face is worn and faded. Hisoka seems to really like this clock. I wonder what's special about that clock. This room is usually used for storage, but it's been tidied up for use as a guest bedroom. I stayed in this room when I first came here. And now that I think about it, Hisoka must keep it as a place for people the people she finds can stay in. I 
wonder if the clock sim like the the symbolism of the clocks will will appear. Ah, oh, that's so pretty. It's like a very tiny little garden. I like it. Okay. We're back here. Nothing. Alright, let's... Let's head out. I, I just remembered we need to go find that friend. Oh? Is that the radio? It is the radio. Radio has been set as a decoration. The tuner doesn't work anymore, so it only ever puts out white noise. Customer service restroom. Customer restroom. Isoka and I take turns cleaning it. Whoa. A clock with a large bell. A tobacco tray. It looks more like an antique accessory case than a functional tobacco tray. Tobacco tree again. The road in the front shop leads to Mount Ikami. It was built for the tourists, but only people who use it now are the people who live here. It's an antique clock on top of an old dresser. Hisoka has a thing for clocks. The shop is full of them. She said she finds them comforting. I wonder why. Thank you so much for giving the membership. Some well polished cups are neatly lined up. After I accidentally broke a few valuable items, it's been Hisoka's job to clean them. Ooh. Really likes white noise. Also, really likes clocks. Pendulum of a grandfather clock sways slowly. The clock itself may be broken, but it still works as a decoration. Isoka said she likes the rhythmic sound of the pendulum and the chimes that mark the hour. Various empty cans and storage jars. Uh, I think we've already seen everything. These drawers seem to be where the shop keeps financial. Uh, these drawers seem to be where the shop's receipts and financial records are kept. I have not taken a practical look through them yet. Do you think he took a signal? Probably. It's just Hisoka's office here, so. We've already been through it all. What was that? Oh, that's the camera. <laughs> that's just the camera. I think we're supposed to go to Mount uh, Hikami now. Because I don't know what else we're supposed to do. Um, search Hisoka's room. But we already did. We, is there more that we need to search for? Okay. I want to do the old game thing where you just like take the character and you rub them against everything to see if like a pop up appears like that. The wall of the, ha the house next door is visible through the frosted glass. Open. Uh, TV. Couch. Okay. Good old way to try to figure out what to do. Yeah. Just rub your face against everything. <laughs> Let's see if we can just run. 
maybe there's something outside? No. The bathroom is locked. The door to the back. There are stepping stones leading here into the garden. I don't go into the lo the garden much of them to tidy it up. Okay. Map says. What? But we've already been there. Right? Huh. We've already... I think we already searched that room, though. This... <gasps> oh. Oh. This is Hisoka's room. She really likes the traditional Japanese style. She really likes the Jap traditional Japanese style. That's because she's Japanese. I'm gonna go out on a limb and, and, and say that's because she's Japanese. I don't, I don't know about that one, but like, maybe. Okay. It's an old Japanese full length mirror. I never liked looking into mirrors. But was that, why? Why is the physics like that? It's very distracting. Oh! Oh, the radio! Right trigger hold open. There's nothing up. <laughs> very dramatic opening. There's nothing of interest here. Lost item case files. There seems to be notes on Hisoka's shadow reading cases. Client, no name. Missing item diary. Token, photo of the deceased. Details, locate the mother's diary. Client seeks info on their late mother. Relates to a deceased individual. Apply caution. Results, caretaker of the deceased had burned the diary at her request. Storeroom key. Locate the storeroom key. Item may already be lost. Token and item belong to deceased. Item located and had to be hidden by patient's parent or client's parent. Return to the client. Diamond ring. Requested fiance not to be. Oh, this one is cute. No name of the client, but. Uh, they lost the diamond ring. They came to Hisoka to ask, like, "Hey, I lost, I lost the the wedding ring that I was gonna get." Client six lost wedding ring. Requested fiance not be notified, of course, because you have to keep it a secret. Date of waiting soon approaching. Found it on the client's desk. It was in an obvious place, but somehow eluded the client. Must have been like stressing out over over the coming wedding. Exa yeah, must have been nervous and missed it. Aww, cute. I love little story bit like storytelling bits like this. The panic is too powerful. Yeah. Froyo, Okwiri, the gift of for joining the collective. Welcome, welcome. Do you think the fiance found it and placed it there? Maybe. I hope not. It's a surprise. Gotta keep it hidden. <gasps> Client. Ren Hojo? Missing item. Album of postmortem photographs. Reference material for a book about traditional practice in the Hikami area. Bad location, but danger anticipated. But minimal danger anticipated. Client is an acquaintance. <sighs> so that's who we were doing the job for. Result. Found an old building abandoned in. Shadow attempted to drag Yudi into the netherworld. Should have gone alone. Must warn Yudi to stay away from the mountain. So this is why Hisoka went on her own and just kept Yuri here at the shop because Hisoka felt um, worried about putting Yuri in danger. So that's why stay in the shop. Don't get lost. You know, don't follow me. Don't you know, leave the shop. Stay here where you're safe. 
There's a book next to the final files entitled Art of Shadow Reading. Shadow reading is the ability to read traces of the past, not unlike the abil ability commonly known as psychometry. By following the traces, it's possible to find things that have gone missing or which were no longer visible. Things that are demonstrably there, but for reasons unknown are all but invisible. Things the owner wished to be forgotten. Things the owner wish things whose owners have passed away. Things no longer wish to be seen. Things drawn partway into the netherworld, invisible within our own. Such items can be called back. Unlike these objects, however, people who have been spirited away must not be chased after lightly. In many such cases, they have been taken by creatures of the netherworld who linger nearby. Utmost caution must always be applied. I have a feeling that Hisoka got spirited away, and now we have to go find her. Why else would it give us this, this warning? Specifically, people who have been spirited away must not be chased after. Hisoka went off on her own. I'm pretty sure it's leading to Hisoka having been spirited away, and now we have to go find her. I think that's what it's setting up to be. It's so distracting. Oh my god. Tobacco tray. Okay. Oh, there it is. An envelope. Sender's name, Fuyuhi Him Himino. Maybe it could provide clues as to where Hisoka and Huyuhi went. Dear Miss, dear Miss Kurosawa. She's single. Please find Haruka. She went missing over a week ago. You still take on missing persons cases, don't you? I've contacted the police, but they're no help. They say she was probably spirited away. Haruka won't let me go any. Haruka wouldn't have gone anywhere without telling me. I'm certain something bad has happened. I can handle my own grief, but I can't stand the thought of her suffering somewhere. What if she's waiting for me to find her? I'm worried sick. Haruka is alive. I know it. But something has to be done, and quick. Remember when you found the precious picture of me and Haruka? I was so happy to have it. Now I need your help once again. Photograph with the, lo the letter. Aww. But if it's a missing person's case, we know that it's dangerous. Which is why Hisoka probably left on her own. It shows Fuyuhi looking shy and another girl. They look close. Hisoka, she must have gone to Mount Hikami to look for this girl. <sighs> Mount Hikami, a place where many come to take their lives. Oops, sorry about that. I'm positive that Fuyuhi must have come here. Sell some water real quick. Uh, give me just a minute, chat. I have to go grab some water real quick. <laughs> Back, but I'm going to turn on my AC and the filter because it's 90 degrees in my room right now and it's kind of hard to to manage so yeah the filter is going to be on I apologize for it but once it cools down I'll go ahead and turn the uh, filter back on Mount Hikami Fuyuhi is somewhere on this island on this mountain I should be able to use this picture to find to help a little bit. I should be able to use this picture of her to find her trace. Don't have a camera obscura. <gasps> Can we just leave? Can we just leave? No. <laughs> I have to find Fuyuhi. 
she might know something about Hisoka. No, I won't let me leave. Okay. I have to say, this, like right here, is my favorite weather. Overcast, but not rainy. Kind of like gloomy. I love this weather. There's a wood post fence along the road by the pond. Man, such a vibe. Doesn't that look like a school? It looks like a school building. Left to right, left to right. Okay, up the stone stairs. Whoa. Okay. We know for you he went that way, but I want to check out the other places first. No, it won't let me check out the other places. I have to go follow for you. He. No. Okay, fine. I'll stay on the path. Is it like a broken trees? I thought there was like a broken twenty feet. Pool of purification. It does look like a broken twenty gate, right? No, it, this is just a tree now. No roaming. I it, it was painted red, which is why I thought it was like a twenty gate. Is that? Are those leaves, or is it like a thing? Whoa. Oh, it has collapsed and the stone stairs are cut off. It must have been from the landslide. Old road seems to carry up on the edges of the cliff. Oh, I see, I see. You can kind of see the guardrails, like around here. I guess we go to the left? Huh? Um... Water flowing from the rocks is pooled here, forming a small pond. There's something on the ground. Release right trigger at the right moment to dodge it. If you do get grabbed, left stick, right stick to break their hold on you. What? <laughs> what? Oh. Taurus brochure. I wonder if you he dropped it. It has a map of the mountain. This should be useful. So this is how the get way of the well, gosh, it's so loud. So this is how the wave in the pool of purification to the unfathomable forest. Got it. We are here, and I guess we just keep going through. From the main menu, press X and then Y to see the whole map. Oh! Miko Mori Pond. Full of purification. Oh. Shrine of dolls. Mountain path. Shrine of the ephemeral. Twilight Peak. Bidden Valley. Ah. 
<laughs> I want to go explore them all. It looks really cool. One and only. The sign saves space. Yeah. The dolls are pretty, but I don't know if I would call them like... Like, the, well, they're, they're pretty, but like they still creep me out a little bit. Oh, I see it. It's right there. It's glowing. Okay. Oh. There's something under the waterfall. Purifying embers. Coals that light the forbidden flame. They dry you and remove the taint of the black water. The wetness gauge through the lower right screen will light up when you come in contact with water. If you get drenched, you'll become an easy target for malevolent spirits. Use purifying embers to dry yourself off. Oh. Hang on, chat. So that's what it is. I was like smack in the middle of blocking it. <laughs> Oh, her outfit gets wet to show you that it's wet. Uh, does it keep going down? Waterfall is beautiful as it flows down. A lot of people probably came this way back when the mountain was a tourist destination. We're not in trouble right now, so we'll wait until... Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Herbal Medicine 2. Pills made of a myriad of herbs. Consuming them will restore some health. It's really creepy, Chad. I don't have a camera right now, so I feel very like vulnerable. I don't have a way to defend myself. It's over here. The road is buried under earth and rock. Grass and trees jut out from amongst it. Must have been collapsed a long time ago. You really like the atmosphere, it's really nice. There's something all the way down over there. Do you see it, Chad? It's like right there, it's glowing. Let's go see if we can find it. Verifying embers. And more embers. There it is. Okay, let's go pick that up. I don't know what that is, though. There's something in the water. No. He 
Isoka's camera obscura. What's it doing here? A Type 14 film, 24. Old film, not effective. Joseph Roth, Okoidi, thank you for joining the collective. Welcome, welcome. It takes a long time to load. You got a stun lens. Forcibly staggers the photograph subject. To use it, equip your camera obscura. Press X when you have enough spirit power. Switch upgrade. Allows you to take, equip, and take pictures with different lenses. You can now use the camera obscura. Type 40 film is limited. Oh. What? Whoa. Whoa. What? Ooh. Uh, wait, five. I need to get I need to get at least five. Uh, no. Whoa. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh, wait. Group up, group up, please. Oh, jeez. Uh oh. Uh. Come on, come on, come on. Get together, get together. I'm up. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Camera Obscura must have been carried here by the current. This means Hisoka's in the mountain too. But I should focus on finding Puyuhi first. She can't have gone far. It feels, it feels a lot better now that I have the camera. Even if I have to use the unlimited, the, the weakest film, I, I still feel a lot better with the camera on. I can't see the bottom. Nobody could survive a drop from this height. Ooh! Oh, what the heck? From here, you can see the whole area below the waterfall. There's a shrine road wiped up with a landslide, and the path leads up here. I think that was just a cutscene. Rush of water disappears into the darkness. Got me good, yeah. I it startled me a bit too. Wait, hold up. I want to see if I could change the controls because I want my left trigger to be aim and right trigger to take a picture. Because right now I have to press Y. Key configuration? No. Configuration mode? Oh, you have to go action mode. Okay, okay. So, left trigger is... No, left trigger still run. Action. So now, left trigger is aim camera. Right trigger is fire. Okay, okay. This feels a lot more natural. Oh, and the bumper is sprint. Ah. 
between the rocks, I can see the stone lanterns by the pool. Looks like it's deserted. Lumantis, Okoidi. If I'm in the membership. And yeah, I'm really excited. I've been having a lot of fun so far. Let's keep going. Oh, this is on Steam. I wonder if it'll give us like a warning of like, hey, there's something interesting over here. Oh no. A tall fence blocks the path. Beyond is an expanse of forest, and there doesn't seem to be any way around. So what is that? Fourteen film. Old film, not effective. So if you turn around, you will not see the ghost behind you? No, I think it was just the cutscene. Oh, okay. So I think that's the right way to go, which means we go the other way and explore it a little bit. It's not like there's anything else that we can explore here. Oh, you can take a picture of who you mean? Oh. A torn note lying on the ground. It looks like for you, Himinos. I looked into Mount Hikami. Oh. I looked into Mount Hikami. It's always been a spiritual place. Not spiritual as in holy, but spiritual as in filled with the spirits of the dead. Maybe this is why it's uh, on a live spot. Haruka wouldn't go to die alone, though. Not without telling me. The book said people get spirited away to the mountain. They get called towards and disappear alone. I read how it calls people who are perceptive, anxious, meek, and who lack family. My heart skipped a beat when I read that. I was describing Haruka perfectly. She was so kind and accepting. She always opens up to me. She's alert, even when she seems to be spacing out. She knows what I'm thinking. Maybe she was spirited away. But where do people go when they're spirited away? The more I think about it, the scarier it gets, and the more my heart starts pounding. Go find Yumi and her friend. Unfathomable forest. Stone lanterns along the road to the shrine have all been lit. They're candles, so they gotta be like... Like, someone has to like actually have lit them up, right? Yeah... They were sown by the shrine on the other side of the river. Was it for you, he? Oh, that one was really close. I hey, didn't get to snap a picture for that one. Stone lanterns along the road to the shrine have all been lit. If I follow these lights, I shouldn't get lost. The sign's kind of worn out. There's an old signpost here, but it's so caked in moss that I can't read what it says. It's gotta be here though, right? Whoa! 
Excuse me? Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. Uh. There we go. How do I rotate? Okay. okay. Yeah. Like a rat here. Wait, wait for it. No attack? I guess not. Ugh. No! <laughs> God. I forgot how long it takes to load up the next shot after after you take a picture. Get back over there to that bank. Sounds like me in the morning. <laughs> it's me before coffee. I wonder. Hold down right trigger and move to follow the trace. Okay. What? Which way did you go? Oh, this way. Um. Let's not get lost. So we'll just like follow through here. Uyui Himono looking up a tree. Huh? No. Uyui's trace ends here. No. Are we too late? There's a note lying among the dead leaves. It looks like we read him on Kimino's. I don't know what to do now that Haruka has gone. Gone missing. I can't do anything on my own. It's like I can't breathe. We've been close since we were children. Now she's gone, I realize imp how important she is to me. How irreplaceable. I can't stop thinking... I could have done something that day she left. Maybe if I'd said something. Then, but then yours was like a shadow that just passed us. Maybe if I had said something, I could have stopped him from going. The waiting is unbearable. I should have been the one to disappear. It should have been me. If Haruka comes back... There's so much I want to tell her. I should tell her how I really feel before we end things together. <sighs> oh, what the hell? Maybe she's already known for a long time, but I'll tell her anyway. I have to tell her. 
Fuyumi has been here. I can use this note to pick up her trace again. What? No, no, no. Whoa. Hello. Oh, you must be the other students. Oh my god. Camera. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, wait. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Wait for it. So that didn't work out. Run. No. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Go, 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 go. Just, just get some distance, get some distance. Okay, okay. Ooh. Okay. One. It's just two, it's just two. We should be fine, we should be fine. Okay. Then I'll angle myself so that I can get. Both of them. In a single shot. Okay, get close, get close, get close. No, no, no. Okay. Woo, woo. Ooh. Oh my god, this is actually really difficult. One's still alive, one's still alive. Well, I... Alive is probably the wrong word to use. Um, there's one, one spirit left. Herbal medicine. Okay, there we go. Did the ghost say? No, the ghosts are melting away. All right, let's go here. Pick this up from the ground first. Whoa. <laughs> Type 61 film. New film, good condition. Effective at exercising ghosts. Nice. Oh my god, this takes so long to charge. Okay, we'll use Type 14. That takes so long to charge, though. Wait, what? She went this way? Oh. Okay. This way. Left or right? Left. Alright. We know that they went left, so let's explore to the right. Yeah, I knew there would be some things. Oh. Alright, let's go grab some of the stuff here. Purifying embers. This is kind of spooky. It's a lot more spooky than I thought it was gonna be. The atmosphere is really nice. I just wish like the temperature in my room was as cool as it looks like on this mountain. <gasps> more things. Okay. Type 14 film. You can't tell that any more of these. Oh. Okay, okay. 
we might as well go ahead and use all the Ooh. Hello. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh. Outfit though. Okay. One more, one more, one more, one more. Are we done? Business attire, yeah. Office Lady Ghosts. Alright, now let's go ahead and pick some up because we just used up a few. <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> there we go. So, like, that's why everything is built intentionally from opening drawers very dramatically to picking up items. Okay. Can I go through here? Alright, we're gonna do a little bit of exploring in this section before we start scanning for the traces again. I can see the front shrine front shrine across the river. The bridge downstream must be the shrine road. Upstream, there's a walkway across the river. The main shrine must be deeper in the forest. Ooh. My tracker looks like a floating spirit, just a little bit, right? Oh, there's an item around here. Oh, there it is. Oh. Sacred water. Clean water user purification restores your health completely. Uh. Chat, if you find a bottle on the ground that claims to be sacred water, don't drink it. Just don't drink like random bottles of water on the ground. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. <gasps> Swept away maiden. Sacred water is not the name for spicy water. If there's enough spiciness in the water, that's okay, because it can also act as a very weak uh, disinfectant, but still, I would not recommend it. Fuyumi Himi no at the front of the shrine. No. None of that. I will... N no, thank you. I don't like that at all. Type 61 film. Do we have to go in there? I don't want to go in there. Ugh. Do I have to? I don't like that. What? Oh my god, no. Let's go explore for some items real quick. If we can find any. Uh, I think we just came from here. Hmm. 
Oh, we can pick that up. Oops. Wait. Do we have other content? Oh, I don't like the dolls, though. They're really creepy. Okay, let's see if we can go pick up the items over here. Uh, okay. And then, can we go a little bit further down the bank? Yeah. There's gotta be a ghost here. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. What? What? Behind us? Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's three of them. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. It's office lady again. Come on, come on. Fail frame. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. Oh my god. Wait. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Oh. Wait, behind. Excuse me, coming through, coming through. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Where are they, where are they, where are they? Sorry. The combat, like, turning around is so clunky. Oh my god, where are they? Where are they? Okay. You're different. What the? Whoa. Okay, vertical. Wait for the, wait for the attack. Wait for the attack. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. got like that swagger like I know he's dead but like he's got that squat like swagger thing going on whoa okay okay so that's his attack he's got that hairstyle right look at look at him okay for the moment just you know like if you weren't dead Sacred Embers again. Yeah. Alright. I think we're good. Let's go. Even the ghosts are dramatic. They they really need to uh they gotta make rent. Since they're acting really extra. <gasps> yeah. Herbal medicine. Nice. Oh? There's a path along the riverbank. I think it'll let me get down by the water. Okay, okay. Alright, I think we collected everything, so I guess we have to go into this creepy doll temple. I don't like all this. What the heck? kills hot people. Countless dolls are lined up around the shrine. Maybe this shrine used to be the dolls used maybe this shrine used dolls in its ceremonies. They look like they've been out here for quite some time, exposed to the elements.
Anything around here? Guess not. Where is the trace taking us? This way. Alright, let's keep going, chat. These dolls are really creepy. I love you they would like turn their heads and like oh turn their heads and look at me or something. Dolls of various sizes have been placed around the shrine. White faces with faint smiles gaze out from the dirty kimonos and black hair. Ooh. Oh no. Ah, I missed it. Oh. Okay, but we know she went inside the shrine, so... Let's go check out... Not the shrine. Countless dolls smile vacantly. Here we go, chat. Oh. The door is shut. Doesn't look like you even went into the shrine. Oh. oh. For you, he's note number three. Haruka and I have been close since kindergarten. We sang a song together at graduation. It was called the Song of Memories. Haruka and I looked at each other when we sang together. I'll never forget that. I think about those times a lot lately. They were the best. And if I even start, if I even hum that tune, I start to tear up. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Can we open it now? No. Okay. The traits leads back outside. Maybe it was like one of the the ghosts that like these dolls are like supposed to be symbolizing. from behind. <sighs> okay. Spirits of the those girls like watching us. Trace goes down the right hand side and it continues down the path. Guess we'll have to continue that way too. Yeah, there were three. I missed the top two. I'm getting a little bit, like, trigger-happy to take the photos, so I, like, snap the photo before I can, like, get everything into focus. I bet you Fuyumi has a crush on... Okay, left or right? Right. I bet Fuyumi has a crush on Haruka. Hasn't told her yet though, but the second note that we saw, I'm a little bit worried. Did she go left or right? Went down this way. Alright. Before we go, let's go check out this side. Maybe there's some items here. Oh, oh wait, she's too far away to take a picture. Looks like she's not going anywhere, so I guess we can take our time a little bit and just collect these. Ooh. Sunken note. It looks recent. Watching the sunset makes me want to cry. I have no home to go back to. Nobody would even be there. No one would be there if I went back. Everyone would be there, yet no one would. I know that now. That's why I came to the mountain. My grandma used to tell me never to go to the mountain at sunset, but my feet led me there. 
I chased the sun and it kept getting bigger. I couldn't stop. I need, I feel the need to write something, so I'm scribbling this down. I had to go into the water. I had to write this first. I had to write something. What else should I write? She's calling me. I have to go before the sun sets. It must have been the note from another victim who was here earlier. This does not seem safe. Should we? No, it won't even let me go into the water. I think I might be able to scoot along the bank and get to Fuyuhi. Fuyuhi? Is it reacting to her? What the heck? Who you eat? Is that you? That's <gasps> no. I wonder. <sighs> All of them. Why did the two of us survive? We made a promise that. I'll go and look for Haruka. What the heck? Let's go back. Oh. What? Okay, I've got to backtrack all the way to the beginning. Whoa! Wow. Okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do it, do it, do it. Dad. Hello, chat. Welcome back. Good to see you moving again. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Three. Two. There we go. Hello, chat. Yeah, you could mess with a little funny. With the, the chat again, unfortunately. One more, one more, one more. Ah. Oh. Gotcha. Oh, you were tough. You were pretty tough. Okay.
Oh, sorry about the flash. Oh, I, sorry, flash. I forgot. You can see the deaths of the ghosts? You should die alone in a place like this. Jeez. I... The ghost was like taking a taking a while. It was like very dramatically falling to the ground, and I was like, "Wait a minute, can you get close to the ghost? Like, do they hurt you? Because they're like in the dying animation." I didn't realize that you could actually see their deaths. That's terrifying. What the heck? <laughs> okay. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Who you be? Watch out. Oh my god. Uh, you good? I'm... Uh... I'm gonna use your face as a target for you, me. What? Ooh. I'm so sorry. Okay. Get five, get five, get five, and... Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, I feel so bad for her. That's a very nice dress, though. You good? Whoa! Ooh. Oh no, I wasn't able to touch. I wasn't able to touch before she went to that last animation. Because they did say, um, some of the spirits, when you die, you end up getting trapped, and then you repeat your last moments over and over and over again. That must be terrible. Oh my god. Parents on alive notes. This game's entire theme is on alive, isn't it? I like it here. I can die alone here. There's no one to stop me. I can take things slowly. A peaceful, dignified death. Life is nothing but misery and suffering. I'm sick of it. behind these trees. Yeah, it is here. Are those? What? Oh, they don't do anything, but they're like voodoo dolls. Like little figures? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Sacred water. <gasps> what the hell? Okay, there's nothing up in the trees, but that's kind of spooky. Alright, 
let's just keep going then. Alright. We found Fuyuhi, so we should just get out of here at this point. Uh, trace? Oh, there's no trace. way oh my god expecting someone to grab you when you're about to pick something up yeah we've already had like two ghost hands like try to attack us oh wait what don't go back there oh my god Ooh. Wait, why are they so fast? Oh my god, oh my god. Whoa! Wait, they're just kids! Let's go play. We're having fun. Look at how much fun we're having. And then just took her away. Yeah, she was spared to the way. What the hell? Fuyuhi, what are you doing there? I wasn't able to get a chance to check out the others. Oh my god. Oh my god, my heart. Haruka, she's here. Why you gotta be so creepy? What about the other two? I accidentally beat them all at the same time, so I wasn't able to go and like do the the, the spirit viewing thing. I need to get Fuyuhi out of here. Okay, come on, Fuyuhi, let's go. This way. You're following, right? Come on. Let's go for you, he. Okay. okay, let's keep going. Hey. We came from that side. The bridge is out, so we have to go around this way to, to get there. Yeah. Okay. Let's 
just keep going. Ooh, what is that? There's something on the riverbank. Soka. Wait, what? So that's how she lost her camera. Here by the river. Joseph a camera obscura. You got the evade upgrade. Allows you to detect ca threats capable of being dodged. Fuyu isn't here. I have to find her. Alright, Jack, give me just a moment. It's it's back to 91 degrees in my in my room. Uh give me just a minute. I'm gonna see if I can turn the AC back on for a little bit. All right, we should be good now. Let's go. Which way did she go? He? This way? Oh my god. Are you here? The knife. One of the points is the knife. Wait, she's normal now. What? Are you okay? Uh -huh. Wait, are you fine? She seems fine now. Uh oh. No. Whoa. 
Whoa. Ooh. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That is so clunky. Get more fragments in there. Gotcha. Oh my god, this is... Were you here? <gasps> if you touch a weakened ghost, it triggers a fatal glance and you'll be able to see its memories. Haruka. Are you here? Oh, this one's... Are you here? It's unscripted. Tainted. Ghost attacks may leave you tainted by the black water. If this happens, your health will continually decrease. Use purifying embers or defeat all present ghosts to remove it. Whoa! Okay. Whoa! Okay, no, I don't like that. I don't like that. I. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Uh. Items, items. Oh my god. I have like no health. I have no health. Uh. Sacred water. We'll use that one. Yes. Okay, there we go. Bakuaji. Thank you for VIP the membership. Okoidi. Got to see play one of my favorite games. I've been really liking it so far. Uh, actually, chat. Give me just a minute. I'm gonna go open my window. It should be cool enough that it'll it'll be fine. Cause it's like climbing back up to like 90 with my with my PC. Be right back, chat. <sighs>
Okay. It's like lukewarm ish outside. It's not like cool enough for it to be like cool, but like it's kind of lukewarm ish. All right. Uh, let's check out the camera. Lenses currently. I just have the stun lenses. Upgrades, both of them are used. I guess we'll switch over to the Type 61, because this is supposed to be the high quality one effective about exercising ghosts, so. Okay. Let's get back to it. She's really pretty, though. Whoa! Oh. oh, come on, camera. Dodge. Okay. okay. Where? 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 Oh, there. Okay. Uh, swap type seven. I want to go faster here with the. Whoa. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Dodge. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa, okay, okay. Left to right, left to right, left, right, okay. Okay, come on, come on. Come on. Oi. Okay, there you are, there you are. Ooh. Wait, what? Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, wait, my camera. She's gonna glance into your soul and be like, damn, bruh, you live like this? Ooh. Okay. Come on, come on. Come on, pretty lady. Let's go. Try me. Try me. Whoa. Camera? Wait, why can't I? My camera. Okay, there we go. Alright, that was a fluke. Come on, pretty lady. Try it, try it, try it. Come on, come on. Fatal frame, fatal frame. Gotcha. The shrine maiden. She's the one who brought for you here. The one who made her. It's too dangerous. I can't stay here. I'll have to go back for now. Uh, wait. Which way? Which way? Down? Okay. Oh, it doesn't matter. Left, down, through the river, and at the very end, left. Okay. Left, down, left, and then down. And then through the water area. Ooh. Okay, through the water. And then at the far end of the water, take a left. Oh. Those the bodies. Oh my god. Uh, I don't like this. Mo 
While searching for her friend, Fuyumi Himina ended up taking up her, taking her own life. Having witnessed Fuyuhi's final moments, Yuri knows she wasn't alone when she died. What of that other woman who killed herself in the same way? Not to mention the mysterious shrine maiden sodden from the rain. Yuri managed to look at Hisoka's camera obscura along with the charm she always liked to wear. For now, she must return to the antique shops alone. Hey, yeah. Nice. Eleven percent of the way through, ten percent of all the ghosts, eight percent of the archives, a hundred and three thousand points. <gasps> Wait, chat. We have a hundred three thousand points. Let's get some other outfits. Like, what does the punk ensemble look like? Oh, never mind. We don't have a hundred three thousand. We have ninety three thousand. Punk ensemble. Ah. <gasps> Cute. Ooh. Cute. I like this. Yeah. Swimsuit. I feel like swimsuit's gonna be obviously fan service y. Room's outfit. We were to upgrade the camera too. <gasps> oh wait, that's right. We shouldn't use up all our points on this one. Uh... Miku Hinasaki outfit. I want to check this one out. I don't. Oh. Oh, okay. And I thought, I thought that was gonna be like a, like a Miku. Oh, it's a Fatal Frame 1 protagonist. I thought that was gonna be like Hatsune Miku. And I was gonna be like, that's cool. Miku is the MC for the first game. Ah. Uh... <laughs> My brain immediately thought it was Hatsune Miku. And I was gonna be like, oh, that's such a cool, like, little, little, like, reference. But I am mistaken. All right, let us continue. How do we upgrade our camera though? I don't, like, I see the costumes option here, but I don't see, like, the camera option to upgrade the camera. Are there any accessories? Maid's hairband, white lily, black lily. In this cage ring. I don't know what those are. Okay, but let's go. Uh, so we can buy items here, but I don't see a way to upgrade the camera. Camera enhancement, where's that option? Should we buy some film? Psychic lens can only be purchased once, a lens that allows you to experience spiritual phenomena. Let's get it. I don't know what that is, but let's get it. Yeah. Oh, you have to be in-game. Okay, okay. Third drop. Post-modem photography, Ren Hojo. Ren Hojo, a writer, is haunted by a recurring dream in which he kills a young girl doing a, during a ritual. He receives an album of post-mortem post -mortem photographs located on his request by Hisoka. Upon viewing one of the photos, Ren recognizes the very scene from his dreams. Eager to delve further into this puzzling mystery, Ren heads to the abandoned inn in person this time, bringing along his assistant, Yuri, Kaga, Yuri Kagamiya. Ooh. Just a book of like post mortem photos. <gasps> oh 
my god, she's really pretty. Will <gasps> you die with me? She's beautiful, but she looks sad, too. Yeah. Isn't she the type of woman that you get nervous around? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there may be more of this stuff out there. Shall I call Hasoka? No, let's go there ourselves. It'll be quicker that way. At this hour? It won't take long. <sighs> so then, shouldn't you take the camera obscura? <gasps> Wait. You haven't used it yet. This could be your chance. People say there's something off about that place. <gasps> Wait, what? Okay. Wait, why? Why does he have a camera obscura too? My camera obscura is on the desk. Hisoka sent it back after appraising it for me. Why does he have one too? I should take the shadow reading report with me too. It may come in handy. Rui's also always complaining about me leaving things on the sofa. What? What? Why does he have one? Antique looking camera on the desk. Ends camera obscura. It looks a lot boxier than the other one. Measure upgrade. Displays the current health of the locked on. <gasps> Ooh. Displays the current health. Oh, that's so cool. Unfinished manuscript. It doesn't have a title yet. I'll need more material to sell materials to solidify the theme. Memorial portraiture. The act of photographing dead bodies was a practice in Western countries in the 19th century, a time when photography was still a rare and expensive luxury. The bodies of recently deceased family members and loved ones are photographed in lifelike poses as a solemn keepsake of remembrance. While researching the phenomena, I discovered a similar custom made its way to Japan as well. Known as post-mortem photographs, a small number of these photos still remain. I have been fortunate enough to obtain such one such photograph, which I found to contain certain beauty lacking in its western counterparts. When the photography when photography first arrived in Japan, it's a, it was accompanied by the prevalent superstition that the photographs could steal a person's soul. Whether one truly believed this or not, it surely gave postmodal photography a special significance in Japan. If the photos were taken with this belief in mind, then postmortem photographs would sim not simply have been taken as keepsakes or for warning purposes. Rather, the purpose may have carried out carried a certain deeper spiritual significance. Ah, <gasps> that's true. So, like, if they really did think it like stole your soul, then maybe they were keeping it to like try to preserve the spirits of the people who've passed on in a way to like hold on to them. Ooh. Here's a reply to a here's a reply to the appraisal request for the camera obscura. Urges caution in using it. To Ren Hojo. The camera you left me. The camera you left to look me to, blah, 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 blah. The camera you left me to look at is a device known as the camera obscura. Its purpose is to capture images of the supernatural, things invisible to the naked eye. These cameras are incredibly rare, with an almost mythical status in the antiques market. A few have been known to exist, but this is the first one I've seen with compound lenses. I don't mean to frighten you, but rumor holds that to own a camera obscura is to invite misfortune. They say everyone who has owned one has either died, lost their mind, or gone missing. The cameras themselves have outlived many owners. While some aficionados do seek them out, the stories of the previous owners beating with such misfortune has had an impact on their value as antiques. My camera obscura was left to a local family after its previous owner passed away. They graciously gave it to me. I believe yours is still usable, but please do exercise caution in doing so. Sincerely, Hisoka Kurosawa. P. 
P.S. The cover of your camera obscura box is broken, but it seems to originally had a box shape. I doubt you'd sell it to me, but I would like to borrow it for a while if you don't mind. I'm happy to compensate. Please, I'll get over here. I left the shadow reading report on the sofa. I should take it with me just in case. Ooh. A box sheet, though. May have some information that I could use. Who knows when I might need it. Looks like a report written by Yudi. Seems to be about a photo album. Found item report. Uh, oh, we've already read this one. Took custody of the object. Located album of postmortem photographs at the Ichiru Manor. Nice. Hojo residence. And then I guess now we have to go to that side. Where did I put that book about Mount Hikami? Has Rui been tidying up again? Might be on one of the shrines. This is what I want, chat. Whenever I lose my keys, I want my keys to glow like this. Came across the book. I don't think this story has anything to do with what's going on now, but you never know. The Maiden Slayer. Mount Hikami has been long steeped in legends revolving around unalive and ghosts. Reverend, uh, revered as a sacred place since time immemorial, it was once the worshipping ground and home of many shrine maidens. Once, there was a man who fell in love with a maiden and came to the mountain in order to court her. However, she remained loyal to her duties and refused his advances. Enraged, the man killed her and threw her into the river. Several days later, he returned with a torch and a blade and proceeded to br brutally butcher all the shrine maidens in the mountain while tossing them into the river as he went. <sighs> so that's where all the bodies of the maidens came from. The waters of the mountain flowed red with blood, carrying the slaughtered corpses of the maidens all the way down to the pool of purification. It is said that the eyes of each of the shrine maidens had been gouged out. Just before killing the first maiden and tossing her into the river, the man's eyes met with those of his victim. Something in her eyes led him to murder the others, or so the legend goes. With all the maidens dead, he killed himself by cutting his own throat. The ghosts of the shrine maidens, still drenched in their bloodied waters, have appeared on the mountain ever since. It is said that those who meet their eyes are led to their deaths. They follow the women into the water and drown themselves. Though only a legend, the story is believed to be based on an actual incident. Local records show that the body of several shrine maidens were discovered long ago, and that rituals and rites ceased to be performed from that day on. Oh my god. Louis journal number one. Must have gotten mixed here while tidying. I feel bad about reading it, but... Ruby's journal. Mr. Hojo can't clean up after himself. For someone who's lived alone for so long, he's incapable of housework, and he can't cook. He's bad at tidying it up. I'm more like his caretaker than his assistant. He loses things all the time, and whenever he doesn't have a book he needs, he blows up. He usually ends up asking Miss Kurosawa for help. One time, when I was trying to sort all his books, there was one I couldn't find anywhere. It's like it just disappeared. Miss Kurosawa found it in her shadow reading. She went to the book, she went into his room on her own, and then came back with a little while later with the missing book. She just smiled and said this is something that making the invisible visible. What is this shadow reading business anyway? That reminds me that one time, I was tidying up and I came across something I'd never seen before. It was like Miss Kurosawa said, the invisible became visible. It was kept inside an old box. I don't even know what it was. I put it aside to sort it out later, but when I went to take a proper look, it had vanished. Must have gone invisible again. Oh. It's almost sunset. We should hurry. <sighs> yeah. Oh Let's go. Man. Okay. Let's go check out some of the other things first. Ooh, technology. A wireless phone. I thought a wireless phone was like the coolest thing ever. Wait, 
excuse me. I don't think there's anything else that we can read from here. Proceed. There's a local superstition warning people not to go up Mount Hikami after dusk. If you climb the mountain in the twilight hours, it'll show you a different form. It's true form. Why do Only they... those who wish to die come here at that time. Why do they all go at night? It, it's not like a, hey, let's... Let's check it out later. I think that's the inn where the album was found. This must be Ichiru Manor. So, do you think you'll be able to use the camera obscura? I think you should try it out first, just to be sure. Okay. Ren's camera obscura. Oh, it's different? This type of camera obscura allows you to take multiple photos at once. <gasps> oh. That's why compound lens. Oh, that's cool. Use the multi-shot function to take four photos at once, dealing more damage to ghosts that you photograph. Taking multiple photos at once helps to get fatal frame shots. After a multi-shot, the camera obscura will take longer than usual to reload the film. Oh, burst fire. Keep in mind that multi-shots quickly use up a lot of film. Also, standard camera obscura lenses do not work with Ren's camera obscura. Press right bumper to take consecutive shots. Oh! Can I take regular single shots? Oh! Okay, okay. So you can take... You can take, um, burst shots. Or you can take... Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, chat. It's like... Flash warning. Really, is very cute. You can take like burst shots, or you can take like regular single shots like this. But it looks like it doesn't matter um, which one you use, burst fire or single shot. The reload is still very long, regardless. Is the camera working? Well, you look like you, so yeah. Is that a good thing? Uh, we should go. Wait, can we? Can we just leave? All right, let's see what happens if we try, try to just I hear leave. the older part of this inn, the part that's further back inside. It was part of some temple or shrine. After it became an inn, <laughs> the proprietor's family lived here, but it doesn't look like anyone's been here for a was a massive landslide that hit Mount Hikami. Oh. Maybe they were all buried under the rubble. Hey, it looks like the album you asked for was found in the old building. Yeah, sure it looks that way. <laughs> Invisible walls. I kind of like this. You get to explore the same area like three times with different characters. So while it's the same map, each of the characters have like their own motives and reasons for being in this place, so you end up exploring different parts of the mountain. Oh. An old three-story inn stands in silence. The landslide raced down the mountain and through the inn, dumping all it picked up into the pond. Yeah, their own story, I really like it. It's such a cool way to like reuse the same map. Ivy clings tenaciously to the concrete wall. Part of the third floor veranda has collapsed and the railing appears broken. Oh. Hey Haka, I bet you someone died here. I bet you. Like, it is, it's gotta be a reason, right? The railing is fine everywhere else except for this one spot. I bet you someone died here. Hello Haka, hello Hakitos. Check it out, this is... I am Ren, and this is my assistant, Rui. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Oh my 
my god. Yeah, we're exercising. Hawkeye, you should try playing this game. It's a lot of fun. The camera is reacting to something. <gasps> the camera obscura has the photograph power to photograph the invisible. I wonder if it's the same as the power Hisoka uses for shadow reading. I see, I see. Okay. So Ren doesn't have the ability to shadow read, but he has that power thanks to the camera that he has. So the cam like he doesn't know, but whenever the camera reacts, he knows something's going on. That's such a cool way. Like they don't all share the same power, but they do functionally the same things by using different tools. I like that. So you think. Oh. Spirit photograph. Drowned woman. Oh. Yeah, so you really do have like one shot. If you don't get the shot off in time, it doesn't reload fast enough for you to get a second shot. There's a heap of scrap wood at the end of the hallway. The water watt must have washed it down here. There's a hole in the wall. I can see the next room over. It looks just as flooded. I like how Ruby is just vibing. I think they're just like, happy to be here. <laughs> Get yourself an assistant like me who doesn't really mind the. <gasps> oh. <sighs> Imagine the Dutch shot itself, it must have been the wind. <laughs> yeah, sure, the wind. Oh. Woman in the shadows. Man in the shadows. A second woman in the shadows. <gasps> okay, here we go. Dramatic pickup. Okay, okay. <laughs> I hate the dramatic pickup, it's so. Type 14. Okay. I wonder, do we share? Oh no, we don't share. We don't share the same film. This is Type 14 and we have 61 shots of it, not 90 like last time. There is something else. It... I wonder, can we like, open the hatch? What's that sound? Oh, hang on. Let's see if I can. Um, camera, Ren's camera. Enhancements. Oh, we share the points. We share the points, but we don't share the inventory. Ah. Upgrade sensor, increase attack distance. Upgrades the reload speed. Ooh, oh my god, these are really expensive upgrades. Snapshot. Slows enemies down using the 4 continuous photo feature. Increasing damage. I think the faster speed is better, but we'll hold off on this for now because that's a really big, chunky upgrade. 40,000. Those are really cute. I love those hands. Look at the little wave. Hands waving in the dark. Aww, cute. Hello, little guy. Aww. 
as we all like hello little guys do the wave. The windows in the hallway have been nailed shut. Okay, let's explore all the first floor. And then after we explore the first floor, we'll move. Oh my god, what the heck was that? <sighs> that was literally these hands behind my head. Oh my god. Can you wait? Is it like yeah, but I saw that. Like these hands like sticking up and oh my god, I was that a heart attack? It should be around here. Okay, this is like a jump scare. There's gonna be a hand that comes out. There has to be. Look, it's like perfectly set up to be like a hand jumps out here. Oh. 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 Okay. We're good. Oh. Oh. Whoa. No. We must save Louis. Whoa. Hello. Oh my god. Whoa, excuse me. Whoa! Oh my god, oh my god. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Wait, that's cheating. You can't just go through the walls. Wait, no, you're a ghost. You can totally do that. Uh. Whoa! Ooh. Okay, wait, wait. Reload, reload. Oh my god, this takes so long to reload. doesn't have the ability to see so he can't see her death but you still get the point for attempting the ghost uh the, the spirit glance because he's not he's not um supernatural like he doesn't have the power so he can't see the death i'm guessing which is why we didn't see it but we still got the points for attempting the, the uh, spirit glance like this guy relies completely on the camera without the camera he wouldn't be able to do any of this You are also just as extra. Like, can you just open the doors? Oh my god. Did the doll always have missing up? The shrine maidens. Their eyes were gouged out. From the report. <sighs> yeah. Oh my god. What the hell? That's so creepy. Whoa. Okay. Oh, oh my god, Rui, stop. Why are you so close? Rui, please stand back a little bit. Just give me some space. I love them, but like, please. Personal space. Like, oh. <laughs> Do we? You good? Do we? Okay. I, I'm sure. We'll, I'm sure they'll be fine. Okay. Crutch. Um. When we were here as. Earlier, we sh I thought we. This must be the room where Hisoka found that album. Yeah, oh, it would seem so. So chronologically, we've already unlocked the door, right? We don't need the key again. Cause we are. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Oh my God. Man shrouded in darkness. Oh my God. The 
camera is reacting to something. Maybe I can see something through the viewfinder. <gasps> oh. Get close to it. And then... I have to find the right angle, right? That's not the right angle. Oh. There we go. Wait, is that it? No. It clicks when you have the right angle to it. Almost here? No. I have to get very close to it, maybe? Uh, how do I... Yeah, it flashes, but I'm not sure... So do I stand back a little bit? It looks like it's around here. So that's the angle of the frame, but... I don't know which where I'm supposed to be standing from. Like here? circle is actually bigger than the targeting by the glow in the middle, so... Oh! Wait, wait. Okay. Oh, this is a little... a little finicky. No? Like that? Did it work? No. Lock on. Even locking on doesn't do anything, unfortunately. Oh, wait! Oh! Okay, okay, there we go. Yeah! That took a while. A crumpled old note has materialized. And this must be what the camera was reacting to. Maybe it belonged to someone who lived here. How long has it been since I lost everything? The mountain swallowed half of my inn. All I have left is that old album of post moto photographs. The one left by my fa- Oh my god. Rui, what are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> Chad, did you see the, the hand in the corner? Rui, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. The one left by my father. I don't even know who these photos are of. But it's the last vestige of a family I have. How long have I spent here, wallowing in the darkness? It doesn't matter. I'll burn it all. And I'll only be of me. And there will only be me. I think I'll end- Oh my god. Louis, stop. <laughs> and then there'll only be me. I think I'll end it up in the observation room on the roof. The sunset is lovely up there. <sighs> on the roof. The camera is reacting to the note. Using the note as a token, I might find a trace that will lead me that will lead me to some information about the photograph. <gasps> oh. oh my god. Louis is unfazed. They don't they don't care at all. Like, yeah, it's not a ghost, but eh used to it. Have you seen this part already? Man. Louis is pretty great. Honestly thought Louis became a ghost. I think they would say something. But like very matter of factly. Alright, let's go through here. Since we have a little note that says the person went upstairs to the roof. That gives us an excuse to start climbing up now and checking out the different parts of the building. But that explains why everything's burned. The innkeeper wanted to burn it all so that it would only be them left. Nothing over there. Okay. I see this set of stairs, so we should be able to go up from there. <gasps> what? 
Louis, are you okay? What? Oh. Hello? Oh. Whoa. Whoa, you're fast. Oh, 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 oh. I wonder if this is the spirits of the, the schoolgirls that, like, died. What the? <gasps> really? Watch out! Oh my god. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh, oh my god. Did <laughs> we? Okay, she's fine, she's fine. Whoa! <laughs> okay, we got one of them, I think. Wait, no, nope. I couldn't touch. No, I want those points. Louis, no. have been the spirits of the people who died here during the landslide. Yeah. <gasps> oh. No, I did get the head. According to the stories, after the landslide, the owner of the inn moved to the third floor. The third floor? They say he burned himself to death there, or that he threw himself into the lake. <sighs> A common enough story. Tell me about it. Is it? Is it really that common? Thank you, thank you for the gift of the mission. Thank you, thank you. Since then, they say that if you look up at the third floor veranda, you'll see someone looking back down. Really? I'm sorry. <laughs> well, this mountain seems to be just a little bit rain. Really, you could have died now's not the time. I can't see anything outside that thick frosted glass window. Perhaps the landslide buried the building even up to this floor. I love Rui. The type to just kind of like tell you like all these morbid facts while you're just kind of exploring. Oh, okay. What does that sound? I hear something what oh I think it's upstairs the lore and the hidden facts throughout us are good <gasps> Pam hey they give us nothing more you could just see oh here it was Ooh. okay okay <laughs> That looks like it'll crash if we jump down. Let's not go that way. Would you willingly go do something like this in IRL? A hundred percent. I want to drag all the Tempest boys in, into places like this. With like permission, of course. And then just do an off collab. <gasps> something to the side. so bad. Just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. <gasps> what was that sound? Check. There are big holes in the floor and walls. I can see the water down on the first floor. What? This, the noise is so loud, like the, the background ambience. Ooh. Okay. Pick up. Oh. 
Oh no, I'm all alone and defenseless. Sure hope that no pretty ghosts come and get me. There's something on the floor below. Oh my god. Oh. A hanged man. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> This must be the way. It's locked. Can't open it. Camera is reacting to the door. So... Let's see. Oh. Tilt the viewfinder and... It's in there. It looks like a kid just climbing through it, like a small ghost. That looks like a face, actually. There's something in the photo. The photo photograph. The photograph shows the duct with the hatch open. The photo might be showing the location of the key. All right, let's go. Come on, Ruby. Is this game easier with mouse and keyboard? I don't know. A soiled notebook here. Looks like the one I found in the old building. Looks like it belonged to the innkeeper. Even before the landslide, there were always strange going-ons around here. Some years ago, two girls went missing in a field college field trip. The police were stumped. A few days later, one of the girls turned up again. Seemingly out of her mind. There are lots of theories, but most people believe they were simply spirited away. That girl came back each year to look for her friend, like some sort of pilgrimage. Countless people have gone missing over here over the years. We're all used to it now. My father was spirited away too, as was the folklorist Keiji Wat Watarai. Next, it'll be my turn, I bet. I'll vanish with the rest of them. I doubt anyone will think to come looking for me. Ooh. Old book, only three pages. Maybe someone didn't, maybe they didn't really like to journal too much. Alright, let's make our way back, because we know where the hatch was. That will be downstairs. Poor guy, yeah. And as far as we know, all of this only started because of a landslide. Like something that he couldn't even control. I can't get the duct open. It's being held by a powerful force. The camera's reacting. The sink shots. Take photos identical to the psychic photographs taken with the camera to break seals. Oh, match the photo. to see the ghosts oh oh that's cool I didn't know you can save photos whoa it's a lot easier on the Wii U the album by a ghost office lady. Um, 
items. Oh my god, she's really pretty. The bride looks the bride in the white kimono looks lonely. Closet snapshot, creeping shadow. Okay, there we go. It looks like the hatch is in the center. Like directly in the center. And the viewfinder is like almost vertical. Okay, okay. So it would be like the viewfinder is this way, it's vertical. And it's actually pretty far away. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh. What the heck? Oh. <laughs> that was cheap. That was cheap. No fair. Come on, come on, come on. Attack. Gotcha. <laughs> there we go. Once you figure out how to wait for the fatal frame, it's actually pretty, pretty easy. Oh. Yeah. Alright, now we get to go ahead. Excuse me, you do Really know what like, legit like, seriously, excuse me. Sorry. Move move. Oh my god. Ooh wee. <laughs> Alright, viewfinder is vertical. It's like here? Right? Okay. Lock on. Rotate. There we go. So the duct is now open. There's something about the pipes. Oh, let's go. Ooh. Key on a yellow keychain. Okay, where does this one open? Oh, upstairs, far back. Okay. <gasps> oh, oh, oh my god. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Attack, attack. Oh, yeah, combo. Come on, come on. Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where? There you are, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh. Yeah, 500 points. Louis just vibing. Alright, Louis, let's go. We have the key. Okay. Oh my god. It's so clunky. The turning, I think, is the most clunkiest part. But otherwise, I like it. I've been liking it so far. Alright. My eyes are like wired. Trying to find possible ghosts for more photos. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. Oh. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Whoa. Oh, jeez. That's a, that's a lot of, uh, flash shards. Oh my god. Oh? Okay. Whoa! What the heck? Oh, you can't dodge that attack? Oh my god. Ooh. Uh, I don't think I have enough. Okay, I do, I do. Wait. Yeah. There we go. Uh oh, uh oh. Whoa! Whoa! 
<laughs> oh my god. Okay. Come on. Come on. Just try it. Just try it. There we go. It's still... Oh. Wait, wait. Okay. Oh. Whoa! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Almost there, almost there. Last one, last one. Uh oh, uh oh. There we go. The ghosts left something behind when it disappeared. A soiled note has been left here. It looks like oh, that was the innkeeper. That was the innkeeper. So that's what he meant. Oh. I can meet them again. Yeah, that's what he said. This place has gone from a tourist hotspot to a suicide hotspot. Oh, 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 oh. But I suppose this was always the case. This mountain and death go together, side by side. Mikomori once once known as the Grove of Shrine Maidens. A sacred grove where the mountain's maidens oversaw the deaths of pilgrims, easing their passing to the other side. I... like that. I envy it. I wish someone would be there to see me off. Except the man who wrote this note. Maybe I'll find something upstairs. Rui, are you, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Oh. I think I just heard something going on outside, but I missed it. Okay, you know what? As long as Rui is fine, that's okay. It's comforting to hear that someone's waiting on the other side. Yeah. Check through here. Oh. Yeah, I heard another ghost too. I thought something happened outside, but I, I was looking at Rui and I missed it apparently. Alright, now that we have the yellow key, we should be able to open this. Oh! There's a lot of, um,. No, don't make the joke. Don't make the joke. There's a lot of spirits here. Oh my god. Oh, an item. Oh my god. I was gonna say, there's a lot of ghosts just hanging out. Mirror stone. A black stone that emits a mysterious light. If you run out of health, it will protect you. Interesting. The door, door won't budge. Something must be blocking you from the inside. And there's another door about the stairs on the other side. Dark humor, it'd be like that. <laughs> All right, let's go see what's inside here. Moments before he. Oh. oh. There it is. Ooh. Ah. On a live note. 
the sunset beckons. It's calling me into the water. This is the right thing to do. That's kind of terrifying. The window below is shattered. Did the man jump from here? Let's go check out some of the other doors, see if we can figure out a way to open them. How did the window shatter? It looks like he just jumped, and then because he was hanged, the body got yanked with a rope, and then the force of it colliding back with the building caused it to shatter. Okay, let's go check out this thing first. Let's just go pick up all this stuff here. Is this open? The door is locked from the other side. All right, so let's go through this other way. Yeah, he sunk through the window. He probably tied it to the railing and then jumped off and then it snapped as he broke through it. Have left something behind. If, if he did, it'll likely be hidden. Looks like there was a fire. This must be where the innkeeper moved. It's gotta be over here then, right? It does make sense because the innkeeper said that he was gonna set fire to it. There we go. Stay with us, Louis. <gasps> Wait, that wasn't there before. Louis, what are you doing? Louis? No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Run, run. Is... Is... Is something there? <gasps> it's the lady. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I need one more fragment, one more fragment. Okay. Get close, get close, get close. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Wait, what? What? Where'd you go? Left? Oh. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, almost there, almost there. Can I get the top? Why is she teleporting? Oh. Come on, stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. Can we use Rui as a target? No, never mind. Okay. Come on. Spirit fragment. I just need one fragment. I need one fragment. Whoa. I just need one fragment. One fragment. There we go. 
<laughs> okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Where are you? There you are. Okay, wait. Uh, I don't think I can get all five. There we go. I'm doing so little damage though, I don't like this. Controller aim is a little crazy. Okay. I can dodge, I can dodge, I can dodge, we'll be fine. Oh. What were you doing? Can't you remember anything? Let's go home. You cannot leave the mountain. <gasps> you will what? <laughs> oh my god. Whoa! What the heck? Come on, come on, come on. Lock on, lock on. Ooh. Okay, I went a bit too... Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? There she is. Okay. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hello? Ah! Okay, we gotta heal. Uh, oh my god, we have so little health. Uh, sacred water. And also we need to purify. Get rid of the... Okay, get rid of the black water. There we go, there we go. Ooh. Okay. I'm, not gonna... I'm gonna wait for the fatal fray. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Alright, come on, come on. One more time, one more time. Ooh. Attack, attack, attack. I have the burst ready, I have the burst ready. What? Yeah, there we go. Get paparazzi'd. <laughs> oh, no, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine, I think. Nope, nope, we're not fine, we're not fine. We're not fine. Uh, purify, and then heal, regular heal. There we go, there we go. Oh. Wait, I thought we purified. It's still going down. Purif oh. Last one. Last one. Oh no. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. I got the burst. I got the burst. One. Yeah. Zero damage? What? How did that do no damage?
woman dressed like a shrine maiden. Is she connected to the note I found? Messy note number four. The album of postmodern photographs was assembled by a folklorist who lived on the mountain. His name was Keiji Watai. He became fascinated by the custom and moved to Mount Hikami to study how it spread through Japan. My father seemed to take an interest in these photos as well. Strange foreign customs always fascinated him. While he was running the inn, he helped Watarai collect postmodern photographs from the nearby town. On Mount Nikami, the water itself was deified. It seemed like Watarai wanted to get a deeper understanding of the unique outlook, so he set up a house in the forest to experience it firsthand. He was greatly aided by my father, who had already set up an inn by that point. He, he remodeled it from an old, unused shrine. I think that he thought the religious heft would help attract more visitors. One day, the folklorist went missing. Several people had formed a search party, but they were unable to find a trace. Even the road to his house seemed to be lost in the woods. My father scoured the mountain too, but all he found was the photo album. He was soaking wet by the time he got back. I remember he was acting strangely. His eyes had this curious glint, almost like he'd been possessed by something. Next thing I knew, my father went missing as well. I had forgotten about the photos until I found them in the old building after the landslide. But now I understand why my father left. What did I do? These photos are so beautiful. <sighs> Keiji Watarai, the folklorist who lived on Marikami. Isoka probably has some books about him. We should get back. Who he needs the rest. The photo album left, by the, left behind by the innkeeper was put together by a folklorist who lived on Mount Nakami. As Ren and Rui explored the inn and traced the spirit of its owner, a ghost tried to lure Rui to, to unalive. Then, through the pouring rain, an ominous shrine maiden appeared. Ren and Rui left the mountain with, some more, with more questions than when they had started. If I think the photos are really beautiful, am I also possessed? Let's go. A shadow reading. But no, chat, they're really pretty. With Hisoka still missing, Yuri recalls what she has witnessed on the mountain. For Yuhi, taking her own life while entranced by a malevolent spirit, and the bodies of dead shrine maidens washed up at the pool of purification. These disquieting images leave Yuri with no doubt that Mount Hikami houses some kind of horrifying secret. Yuri takes the camera obscura that she found on the mountain and begins to search for a token that will lead her to Hisoka. Alright, now we're back to Yuri again. Suicide, huh? There was no body, right? Uh, and you said... What was it? Lots of women's bodies washed up afterwards? I think there have been reports saying something like that before. Oh, uh, well. I'll see what I can find out tomorrow. I guess she went to try to call the cops. Oh, yeah, and we're looking at that punk rock outfit. Get the light. Yeah, look at that. The studded uh, shoulders provide defense against uh, ghost ghost bites. Camera obscura is on the desk. This is the only picture from the camera obscura that shows anything. A dark silhouette standing on what looks like a body of water. The other photos are no good. They're all black, as if they were exposed to strong light. This doesn't tell me anything. Maybe there are more clues in Hisoka's room. Sunflower seeds. Okay. 
the sound of raindrops in the window echoes faintly. I actually don't mind rainy days. Let's go ahead and raise the... Get some more rain ASMR. Oh, it's really nice. The largest camera obscures in San Francisco. You can walk inside it? Ooh. You live here. Very nice picture. How do you save? Manage. Why? Save and lock. Do you wish to save and lock the selected photo? Yes. Ooh, I want to save this one too. Save and Tell what this is. I, you can only save like the first, the last what one, two, eight, four, eight, sixteen. The last sixteen photos, unfortunately. You can't actually make out too many for facial features. It's just. <gasps> Wait a minute. I want to save this one too. Yeah. Save and lock. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to remember to like take take good pictures. Pretty ghost. Yeah, why why is he so pretty? Okay. Hisoka's room. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, oh my god. Isoka Kurosawa leaving the room. Isoka. She likes to sit at her desk and relax. The Japanese style of the room helped her de stress. Oh. There's something here. The drawer is locked. The camera obscura is reacting to it. One of the guest rooms. Underneath a bed in one of the guest rooms. Okay. I think it's the storeroom on the first floor. Perfect. Alright. Wait, I want to see if this works. Yeah. Old Japan, old Japanese style full length mirror. I've never liked looking into mirrors. Uh, photographs. We'll save this picture. Save. Yeah. Gonna hold on to it and show battle. <laughs> Open the door so dramatically. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot, I forgot. Uh, let's see what upgrades Hisoka's cameras can have. Increase attack distance, loader, absorption. Increasing spirit power absorbed. What does that mean? Spirit power absorption? What? Is it this little blue bar here? 
It's always been at a hundred. I don't know what we... Oh, it's experience? Like points? More points during photos. Oh. Can we upgrade the camera's memory cap instead? I wish. Upgrade stun lens, reducing spirit power cost from 100% to 80. Oh. Okay, okay. So do you see how it, it, okay. So you have to charge up your spirit for that lens to work. I thought the lens just automatically worked no matter what. Ah. A small pot of plantain lily sits atop a low dresser. Feeling cute. Might delete later. Yeah. Oh. Forgive me. Girl in uniform. Wait, what? What was that? Is there something in that room? I don't think we've seen that girl before. Who is that? Mm. Oh. Akari Narumi? Akari Narumi? There's an old file on top of some luggage. It looks like the report of a shadow reading case, but most of it has been erased, making it difficult to read. Subject, Akari Narumi. Client. Kyoko Narumi? Siblings? Were they siblings? Result. Subject deceased. Nothing I could do. Uniform. It's been crumpled up so many times you can't make up the face. One of the missions that Hisoka failed, yeah. An old photo Hisoka had hidden. It's too wrinkled and smeared to see who it is clearly. Shadow in the water. Mm. Is the girl outside the room? Maybe. Well, how is the spirit doing here, though? Alright. Let's head downstairs to one of the storerooms and see if we can find the, the key to the dresser. This, and then through here, and then through to the left, and then all the way at the end, I think there should be a door. Is it this one? This is one of the storerooms. I don't know if it's the right one. Is it? I think it is, I think it is. Oh, there it is. There's something under the bed. A small key. Maybe it opens the drawer in Hisoka's desk. Okay. Back to Hisoka's room. Some dusty old paperwork was also under there. Looks like it was a shadow reading request. Case closed is written in large red, later, red letters. Subject, Miku Hinasaki. <gasps> the first, the first protagonist? Client, Sachi Iyama Iyama. Friend, token, personal photo, details. Disappeared searching for her missing brother, but was found. Mother of one, father unknown. Disappeared again three years later. Note, photographer. 
client is her daughter's guardian. Result. Search abandoned. Attempted shadow reading several times, but traces were too weak to follow. Suspect subject is alive, but a newer or stronger token is required. It may be that the subject does not want to be found. Doesn't want to be found? But she's alive. A warm but lonely expression. She looks like she might fade away at any moment. A few more pages here. Subject, Tsumuki Katashina. Client, family physician. Personal photo. Details, unstable family. Tendency to blame herself for strife with her half-sister. Bear self-inflicted wounds. Note, strict family may be the cause. We'll ask doctor for care after subject is found. Result, search abandoned. Contacted by family. Matter has been turned over to the police. Have been asked to drop the investigation. <sighs> but we don't know if she was ever found. Oh. Tsumuki? Her face seems tinged with sadness. She's still missing, but her family has given up the search. She was in the third game? <gasps> what? Wait. Why is their report case closed? That's us, though. Why is it said. Why does it say case closed? Yudi Kosukata. Case closed. Subject, Yuri Kozukata. Token, personal photo. Details, emotionally unstable after family lost an accident. Stopped going to school a few days ago. Neighbors say she left home as, us as normal. Note, claim to see things others can't. Now recovered. Result, taken into custody. Observation required. Safely in my custody. Believe close attention is necessary. We'll look after her for a while. Is she trying to help her foster her ability to see spirits? The shadow reading? High school graduation photo. Just look at that intense expression. I wonder how much I've changed since then. I still have a hard time looking at mirrors. I still have a hard time looking at mirrors? What? What happened? What happened back then? Uh. Yeah, she's... We know that she doesn't like looking at herself in the mirror. Um, when we look at the mirror in Hisoka's room. But she specifies and mentions that she doesn't like looking in mirrors. So what happened? What happened that caused you to feel bad? Some kind of trauma? She doesn't like her reflection? Yeah. But what, what was it? What was the thing that caused her that? Rainy SMR. Yeah. Alright, back inside Hisoka's room. I wonder if the dialogue changes now that we've read the file. I've never liked looking into mirrors. What happens if we just leave it here and have her stare at the mirror for a while?
It'll, I guess nothing happens. Alright. He's gonna come out of the game and kill me personally. <laughs> Haruka Momose. <gasps> the girl that we wanted to go look for in the beginning. There was a file tucked away in the desk drawer. Contains photos and several sheets of paper. Haruka Momose, client, Fuyumi Himino. Details. Client and subject used to be cafe regulars. A group on a line was reported at the time of disappearance. Connection unknown. Note. Quiet, gentle girl. Seemed keen to please others. Haruka Momose. Compared to, photo, compared to her photo with Huyuhi, she has somewhat darker expression. Darker expression? Miyu Hina. <gasps> Miyu? Miyu Hina Saki? The, the girl at the very beginning who found herself inside the temple underground? Yeah, from the prologue. Miyu Hina Saki. Looks like someone else who went missing on the mountain. Client S. Iyama, foster mom. When looking for her birth mother, missing since subject's childhood, uttered something about Mount Tekami, according to her talent agent. Said to possess psychic powers, client is very worried. Looking for her birth mother on Mount Tekami, though? Oh, she's from the second game? Oh, second game. Photo of a slender, elegant young woman. So this is Miyu Hinasaki. Call from client. Cassette tape from an answering machine. Label shows the date and client's name. Kazuya Sakaki. A missing person for file of one Kazuya Sakaki. I have heard Aesoka mention the name before. Kazuya Sakaki. Ren was the client. Miyu is Miku's daughter. Oh. Token. Personal photo. Details. Known to wander off. Went incommunicado while gathering postmortem photographs for Ren. Awaiting possible contact. Gives bad impression. Seems quite unlike Ren. Kazuya Sakaki. He's a friend of Ren's, but I've never met him. Huh. Isoka's journal number one. It looks like some notes related to clients. Met with a potential client. Doesn't know whether the subject is dead, alive, or dead. Says she may have wandered off somewhere. Maybe wanting for help. Maybe waiting for help. Doesn't want to leave home in case subject comes back on her own. I tripped up. Said something I shouldn't have. I asked what she'd do when we find her. She laughed and said, when she gets back, there are things I want to tell her. Her smile looked forced. She looked worn down by it all. I should mind my own business. I'm worried about leaving Yudi alone, but this one is urgent. No time to lose. I have to go. <gasps> oh, this is Fuyumi. Met up with Fuyumi. Doesn't want to leave home, right? When she gets back there, when she no, it can't be good. No, right? Who was this about? When she gets back, there are things I want to tell her. Her smile looks forced. No, this has to be about Fuyumi. I'm look. So Fuyumi shows up to Hisoka and asks, "I'm looking for, um, I'm looking for Haruka." And then she doesn't know whether Haruka is alive or not. And then it says this. When she gets back, there are things I want to tell her. And then that's when she leaves Yudi here. The file lists the missing person cases Hisoka took on. It was Haruka, yeah. The girl that Huyuhi was looking for. I may be able to track her down if I use the photograph as a token. 
Are we really going on our own? I guess we are going to go looking for Haruka, but this time, instead of using Fuyuhi's traces, we can use Haruka's traces, and hopefully, whoa, hopefully use that to find her. Why is it always at night? Yeah. Why can't they go, like, searching during the day? Leave early in the morning? And then... Check it out at night. Wait, is that a cat? <gasps> it is a cat. I knew it. I knew it. There was a cat. Aww, cat. Pizza time. Hello. Oh, Quady, thank you for joining the... <laughs> of course, my eyes go to the gin. <laughs> oh, Quady, thank you for joining the content. Welcome, welcome. Is there anything else that we can read here? Ooh. ooh. Looks like a map. I don't think that's actually something we're supposed to be able to read. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I didn't mean to take a picture. I apologize if that scared someone. <laughs> My mistake. That startled me. Misclick. I'm so sorry. Okay, here, I'll, I'll lower it a little bit. I think I raised it to try to hear rain ASMR, but I forgot it raises everything. Oh! Hisoka Kurosawa going outside. Hisoka. This time, I'll be the one to save you. Using the camera obscura, Yuri found the number of missing person case files connected to Mount Ikami. She is now more determined than ever to head back to the mountain and find Hisoka. Fourth drop. Oh no, chat, we're only 20% in. We're only 20%. We have to go finish a few more. We have to get to at least like 30%. Because we have today, tomorrow, and the day afterwards to finish it. And we don't have any more time after that. So we have to keep going. Alright, let us keep going. How do we know that Hisoka is alive? We don't. But I have to believe. We have to believe. Alright, let's go. Um, let's check out some outfits. Punk ensemble. Cutesy god. Swimsuit blue. I want to avoid that one because that one's just obviously going to be fancy. Groom's outfit though. <gasps> we have plenty. We have plenty of points. Nice. Um, the shoes don't really work, but he's wearing like sneakers. <gasps> okay, no, this, the, the top part, like this part, is a lot better. I like that. I like that. The amount of stains, right? It was all good until the shoes. I know. What are those? What are those? <laughs> Casual room. Casual wedding. And then this is Miu. This is Miku's outfit. From the first game, apparently. Cutesy goth ensemble. White outfit. That looks more like white and black. That's a bit too much, I think. That's a bit much. I like the leggings though. They like the little uh, cherry blossoms in the leggings. That's cute. All right, let us continue chat. Uh, I want to go by uh, purifying embers three. Sip water. Now nah, we should be fine. That's plenty of healing. Spirited away. Oh, the box. The 
ritual box. After finding a missing, per missing persons file on Hisoka's desk, Yuri realizes Hisoka had been looking for Haruka Momose. She recalls what Fuyuhi said when she passed the Shrine of Dolls. Haruka, she's here. With this in mind, Yuri heads to the Shrine of Dolls, hoping that she finds Haruka. She may just learn of Hisoka's whereabouts too. <sighs> What's the box? It's the box that we saw at the very beginning um, with Miyu. None of the other characters know what it is, but Miyu uh, saw the box. I think Ren had a dream about committing a ritual killing, and then the body fell into that box. So that's what the box is. This is the girl that Huyuhi was looking for. Hisoka must have got, been trying to find her. Alright, I guess we're back here, so let's keep going. I wonder if anything's changed here. No, the dialogue is still the same. I wonder if that means we cross paths with you this chapter. Maybe if we're going into the same shrine, or if the shrine like connects to the same place that was down underground. What happens if you he? Uh, who? 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 Uh, Fuyuhi got possessed and uh, took her whole life. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on. Attack, attack. Nope. Okay. Wait, I think we got this. I think we got this. Five, five, five. Yeah. Ooh, behind us, behind us. Down, left, where? Ooh, I don't know where it is. Uh, uh, oh, okay, okay. What? Where are, what? Get, get out of the wall. Oh, wait. Oh my god. There's two. There's two. No. Oh my god. There's two. There's two. There's two. Wait, what? There was another one, wasn't there? Okay. Oh, wait. Oh. see what happened to... Oh! No fatal glance this time? Interesting. Alright. Oh. I guess they don't all have um, the fatal glances. I guess some of them do and some of them don't. Only a few? behind the waterfall. Wait, what? Haruka was here. Ooh. Haruka's note. I awoke to the sound of water. Should I press on or go back? There's no point of return. This is the no this is the point of no return. If I want to see who you hear again. <gasps> oh. oh. Uh, I think I missed that one. I don't know if I can catch it, that photo in time. That was abrupt, yeah, just a little bit. Anything else in the ground? Oh. My favorite ghost of the game. <laughs> the one that continually falls off from the the mountaintops. 
Maybe we might get a chance to take a picture of it next time. Was Haruka here? No. Okay. Let's keep going through here. Back up here. Oh! Nice. Ooh. Okay. Purifying embers. Oh, here we go. Wistful Shrine Maiden. Oh. What did she drop? What is this? Ooh, another note. Haruka's note number two. I came here because of the sunset. It was so beautiful, it almost it made me want to cry. It was the same sunset I saw when I survived. <sighs> the same sunset I saw when I survived. Remember, they all, all the girls, they wanted to... They wanted to go into the... The, the lake? The pool? I don't know. The pond? They want to all go together. Yeah. But then she and Fuyumi, Fuyui survived and they were like, why did why did we survive? When will we get to see be together with them again? The sun seemed to sink into the mountain. I have to come and see it. Melting away into the waters of the mountain seems natural. It seems right. I feel like the others are telling me too. The ones who didn't survive. That sunset is drawing closer. Or maybe I'm drawn to it. Whoa! Hello! Oh my god. Whoa! Oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, close range, close range. Oh my god, oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, three, two, one. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. That's cheating. No, not two in a row. Okay, okay. No, just run, just run. Ah. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh. Run, 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 run. Oh my god. Whoa! Okay. Let's go ahead and drink some water. Yeah. Oh. oh. I have to I have to like angle myself back because there's one behind us. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Run. Run. Okay. Position, position. Whoa! Wait, touch, touch, touch. Touch, no, that, okay, oh, nope. Run, 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 Okay, there you are. No, no, no. Ooh. This is like really difficult, weirdly difficult to. Is there more? No, it's just this one, it's just this one, just this one. Touch. And... Oh, the Shrine Maidens.
Yeah, the story of the Maiden Slayer. Whoa. glance at the Maiden Slayer. White hair, tattoos on his forehead, like frazzled hair, kind of has a little punch. I wonder if we'll meet them. The poor Maidens, yeah. I wonder if the jump scare will happen again once we get back on this thing. See the whole area. Oh, yep, there is. Oh, whoa. Oh. oh my god. Okay. Where is she? Oh my god. Ooh. I'm so sorry. Where is she? Where is she? Down? Down below? Wait, where? I can't see. What? I don't see her. Is she inside the wall? Oh yeah, she's inside the wall. Okay, okay. You good? Ooh. Where? Where? I think she's inside the wall again. Come on. Yeah, the targeter reticle is telling us around here. Okay, we might be able to do a spirit glance. If we can get close enough, but... I need her to come out of the rocks. Okay, there she is. Ooh. Confusing her feet, yeah. Are you taking damage? No. Come on, come on. Okay, run. I don't think I can get to her, actually. Oh no. Wait, if I want to uh, spirit glance, I have to have her come out here and like die in the open where uh, I can get to her because if she clips behind the path where I can't walk, I won't be able to. So this should be fine, like at this distance because she'll get knocked back onto the steps again. Hello? Ma'am? No? Oh. <gasps> Whoa! Okay. I think she just keeps falling and there's no way to really like do a spirit, uh, spirit glance. I think she just falls and then... You have to try to catch her, like, right when she's about to disappear. In Japan, Omaga, Omagatoki is known as the hour of meeting evil spirits. It occurs at twilight or sunset. This might be tied to the significance of sunset being the death flag. Oh. It's taking a little bit extreme, isn't it, though? Right, let's just go on through. Spira, thank you for stopping by. We get lots of rest and sweet dreams. Ooh. Ooh, okay. All right, let's keep going. Uh, B. Unfathomable forest. Catcher and a princess carry. Oh, if I could, I would. The 
ambiance is really eerie here. Stone lanterns. Okay. Alright, let's just keep going. What is this? Ooh. Haruka Momase peering into the river. We all melt away. I think they're just all just possessed by whatever the spirit is. Maiden swept down river. I don't know if they're like actually saying anything that's that's worth like paying attention to because it just sounds like they've been like controlled or possessed by the spirit. So I think they're just kind of like rambling, just nonsense. I don't know if there's like a specific um, significance to like the exact poem or like the stories they say. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff here. Ooh, that's a spooky mask. Ah. Fragment, there we go. Shotgun. No. Uh, angle. There we go. Yeah. That's right. Oh. Sorry. Whoa. Ooh. We go. Hello, Grady. Ooh. Got him. Come on, come on, come on. Get over here. What are you gonna do? Hit me? Yeah, take those. Uh, ooh. What? Ooh. Okay, there we go, there we go. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Swing, swing. Wait for it, wait for it. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Rico, uh, thank you for the time, thank you for the thank you, thank you. Come on, come on, come on. One more time, one more time. No? Gotcha. Come on, come on, come on. He does have, like, markings on his head. Ooh. Okay, get some distance. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. okay. Uh, there needs to be a default setting on this camera to be vertical. Like, like, TikToks or something. Because all the, the entities I'm shooting are like humanoid, so they're all like vertical, you know? Whoa! Survived it. All right, we're good. We're good. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Let's see. 
I think we should heal just a little bit. Just so that we don't end up getting a lot of damage, taking a lot of damage and then having to... Wait, hold up. Photographs. Can't see anything from here. We can't... I missed this shot. Oh, there we go. Good picture of the... <gasps> Ricola. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the 50 gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. Can we get some of our hearts in chat for Ricola with the 50 gifted memberships? Thank you so much. If you receive them, please enjoy the channel badge and the emotes. Thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and save this one, chat. Because I think this is a pretty good photo of like the main antagonist. Wait, is this one good too? No, it's a little blurry. This is also kind of blurry. Ah. Uh. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that's a good photo. Look at that. Oh my god. That's like a full body shot of the, the antagonist. Let's save that one too. And then the rest are just me missing a profile pic photo, right? It's good enough for like LinkedIn. You can like toss it up there when you're going for your resumes. Let's save them all. Continue to make your way there. Ooh, I don't like this. What the heck? Okay, if there is ever a time, if there's ever a time that a ghost hand. Oh my god. Did it move? I thought it moved. It's an empty bag uh, from the blood stains on it. I don't know if it's empty. I didn't see it move. I thought it moved, but it might have just been the flashlight. All right, let's keep going. Do, do, do. Oh, more items. Yeah. Give me that. Nice. They're statues. They're just statues. Oh? Oh. What is that? I wish I could crouch. It looks like there's something over there. Photo? Nothing. Maybe you have to inspect it? Oh, I do. Wind echoes from a hole in the rocks. It's blowing up from underground. The low howl of the wind sometimes sounds like someone's voice. <sighs> Wait. It's blowing up from underground? Mew was kept in a temple underground. Do you think this could be connected to the same place? The low howl sounds almost like somebody's voice. Maybe there is a connection between this shrine here and the underground place that Mew ended up in the prologue. Small Jizo statues have been arranged around an air hole. This must have been a place of some significance. Can we inspect this? No. No, same thing, same thing. Let us go back out. Oh. A small Jizo statue stands at the base of a tree. Hmm. Something to make note of. Yeah. I wonder... 
if we'll be able to find the hanging tree that we saw in the vision. No? Five five. Thank you so much for the five gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. Can we get some hearts in chat for five five gifted memberships too? Thank you. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. Ooh. getting a little bit turned around so we have to find a way to that's the exit we came through here we go up and then towards this area right so for us we leave and then we take a left turn and then go down the left path again so like a almost like a u-turn here and then we go up here it's all left it's all left all right so go left side through here and then almost like a u-turn to go over oh <gasps> they're so pretty oh my god yeah we've got all three Save that photo. Photographs. Yeah. Save this one. We should like judiciously start saving photos. Because we can only have 18. But we can it looks like we can save a lot more. Do not send for ghosts, Shinri. Where do you think you are? This is my channel. I will thirst over whoever I deem fit to thirst over. And it's predominantly spooky ghosts. <laughs> Whoa. A murdered tri maiden. Man gouging out the eyes. do you do that? Clone my dreams. Hello. Oh, Quaid, you think you're even a membership. I remember more excited to see anyone from my frail frame. Glad you DLC outfits. Makes the game less distracting. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Sarah, so, thank you for stopping by. I get lots of sleep. Such small handwriting. I think it's Haruka's. For you, he didn't see the... <gasps> He didn't see the sunset, only I could see it. That's why she wasn't affected until the very end. That's why I have to go alone. The light of the setting sun lives on in the mountain. I wish for you he could have seen it. But she didn't. She didn't see the sun. Oh. oh my god. But yeah, that's why... That's why she wasn't affected until the very last minute there, where she was like forcefully possessed. Whoa, okay. Oh my god, oh my god. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Gotcha! Yeah! Come on, come on, attack. Fatal Frey. Once you get the timing down, it's actually very easy to, uh, like, get the Fatal Frame. Oh, what? Okay. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
fatal frame, fatal frame. <laughs> Feel afraid, feel afraid. Ah, oh, two of them, two of them. No. Oh. Okay, okay. Come on. Oh. Where? Where? Ooh. There we go. Yeah, that's right. Oh, wait, you're not dead yet. Oh my god. Oh, wait, now you are. possessed too then? Is that why he killed everyone? I don't think so. She's like the guardian. She's like defending all the shrine maidens. Hmm. Maiden's revenge. Yeah. She was one of the shrine maidens there that was like defending them all when she got killed too. But then she resurrected. Came back. And said this is what the fate of all who come to the mountain. So what about the mountain is like doing this okay I think there's a few more items over there that we can find before we head over to the shrine before or after the other memory I think it was after after he killed because her eyes were out her eyes are bleeding right so I'm guessing after she killed or after the Maiden Slayer killed them. She came back to life and hunted him down. Ooh, nice. Purifying colors. <gasps> A little creek. Alright, let's keep going. So what were the Shrine Maidens like protecting here? What's the rituals for? She was the first one that died. Oh, wait, sorry, we just went around the big circle. Ah, here we go. Okay. Let's pick this up, and I think that might be the last one. Purifying embers, let's go. Are the ghost hands RNG? I think they might be. Yeah, we have to get back across the river. Alright, let's go. Give me some evil energy at bay. But what was it? Like, what could they be defending against? That's where we last saw Fuyui. And then this is where the girls took a swim. Maybe we can go this way? Up here? No. Oh. Oh my god. The shrine made this protecting a cursed shrine. Cursed site. Maybe? But we don't really know what they're doing in the first place. Like, what are the rituals for? There's no sign of Haruka this way. I need to follow her trace. Oh, it leads to the other side. That way, okay. Back to the temple. 
that way. All right. Yeah, I guess we'll find out more later. Once we have more of the, the story and the lore piece together. That way. What's over here then? What? Oh, this is the side of the shrine. Okay, okay. Ooh. Yeah, sacred water. Tree with the, the voodoo dolls. Ooh. Maybe the maiden death anger the mountain? Maybe. But like we don't really know what is happening on the mountain, or like what the mountain is supposed to represent. Which way? That way. Like the rituals they do here, why the, the maidens are here in the first place. And um, I'm not sure if the whole thing got cursed because I'm a member of online. Well, they mentioned that this this place used to not be known for that. It's only after a lot of people kind of got it in their minds of, hey, let's go close out our chapters in this forest. You know? Ooh. Haruka Momase heading to the grounds. Alright. Guess now. I'm gonna find out. Whoa. Okay, there we go. Wait, is the door open? I thought the last time we came here it was locked. Haruka is somewhere in the shrine. It was locked last time. B. <gasps> oh my god, what? No. Oh my god. You've got it. <laughs> Before we go, I, I know I took a good couple of photos. Blurry. Too far away. Uh, kind blurry. Blurry. Action shot. Let's save that one. Uh, hug. Kind of blurry though. You can see the detail on her teeth. Whoa. Nice. Still kind of blurry. You can see like the, the artifacting around the edges. Still a little blurry. This one I missed. Nice. Let's go save this one too. All right, now we can go. <sighs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Saving pictures of the waifu. Okay. Notes updated. What notes? Notes, notes. Oh, it's all of these. We've already read these ones. Okay. Ghost girls in one and two are definitely a type. Honestly, they're all pretty, like, just, they're all pretty, generally. I can't crouch, so it's hard to, like, get a good angle. The dolls are, like, a little bit smaller in stature. Oh my god. Oh my god. I swear every
every single game. Every single game has mannequins. They all have like their own version of mannequins. Oh. Okay. Blue Badoo, oh, Okoidi. Thank you for giving them a mission. Welcome back. This thing right here, this door, and then this door right here, the one left and right, something's gonna happen. I just know it. I just know it. I just know it. Can I open these doors? Open. stuff here. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. See, this is like the perfect trap. You give me like a small piece of like a box and then like that scrap of paper and you're like, hey Shinri, hey Shinri, you want that lore, right? You want that lore. Come on, just go into the creepy doll room, grab that lore. It's right there. I'm scared. <laughs> oh. Crush Lens. A lens that deals more damage to targets based on its level. To use it, equip it when you have camera obscura. Press R bu right bumper when you have enough spirit power. Okay. Right bumper. When you have enough spirit power. Can we just go ahead and equip it? Stun lens and crush lens. Increasing damage from 2 times to 2.5. <gasps> Double damage? Oh my god. That's really nice. In use is stun. I want to switch over to crush. And then we go back to the camera and then... Crush lens. All right, there we go. Double damage. Okay. Here we go. <sighs> How to go? Note number four. Ever since I, ever since we survived. I felt like every day could be my last. I feel closer to Fuyuhi than ever. It's nice sharing secrets with her. Sharing my guilt. We often talk about the past. I remember a lot of things from back then. Like how her face was in the first picture I drew in Credit Garden. We split the sheet of paper and drew each other. I remember growing taller than her and how she stayed at home at my house while hers was being renovated. We often talked about that kind of stuff. Most of all, I remember singing the song of memories and kindergarten graduation. I looked over at Fuyuhi and she was already looking at me, waving. Whenever I hear the song, it makes me want to go back there, to that time. My whole life has been flashing before my eyes. Of all the moments, that's the one I want to keep on living over and over, forever. <sighs> Did Haruka also feel the same way towards Fuyumi? Fuyuhi? 
Haruka must have felt the same way. that we haven't checked yet. Okay, you were on the ground. You're still lying in front of the stairs of the water, so okay, that's fine. shut by a powerful force. Oh. Okay. Gives me that My House Tour vibes. It really does, yeah. So I guess we can't open that one, but I think we can go in down here. There's a doll on the stairs. Okay, I think we can head down that way and see what's beyond the water over there. Can I move you? What? Oh! It's just in the way. We can't actually go this way. It's like blocking us. We can't step over the doll. Guess not. Alright, then I suppose... We can check out the rest of this room, and maybe there's something that we haven't seen. Like if an option pops... Oh, check. Large dolls are arranged on a doll stand up against the wall. This must be the shrine's hall of worship. Hall of worship. I've been to... <gasps> Come on, say it. Looking at the dolls. <gasps> what? Is there something under the doll display? What was it? Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a curtain. Okay, okay. Go. Three, two, one. Stairs below the doll display. Haruka might have gone down there. The wooden grate won't budge. There must be a way to open it. I don't like the cutscene. <gasps> oh, you found me. Whoa. You can't die either, huh? want to go down there. I know you want to die. Before you do, how about a game? What? What? <gasps> this is you. It's an effigy. Find me. If you can. What? reacting to something. The spirits of all the children that they, they spirited away. Psychic photograph. <gasps> oh. It's the hanging tree. Oh my god. 
Yeah, the hanging tree. There's something in the photo. It looks like a person hanging from a tree. The photo might show me where to find the hidden effigy. Okay. I guess what we have to do is we have to go and head back out to the forest. And then after we head back out to the forest, we'll have to defeat the three children before we can get to... Oh. Fleeing child. What? Did you go through here? Where are the dolls? Oh my god, where are the dolls? Where did the dolls go, chat? Oh my god. Okay. Okay, there's some stuff down here. Let's go pick up that. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I can see water through a hole in the passageway floor. Some of the dolls are missing from the shelf. They must have washed away. Alright, what's this thing here? It's a really big book. The Doll Memorial. There's an old notebook left in the hallway. I decided to conduct a ritual of sending a doll downriver, as is described in Mount Hikami lore, folklore. Here on the mountain, the flowing waters have been long deified. Life springs from the water and then returns to it. All the bones in the cave beneath the shrine have been laid into the waters. And this is probably considered to be a way of returning life to the water. The shrine was built upon the Pure Water River, with the walkway crossing it. I have found numerous dolls at the bottom of the river and downstream. These dolls were most likely placed on the water as a form of memorial for those they depicted. Oh. So that's why this place is set up. There's a general folklore long before it. And one of that is that there's life that springs in the water, and then after you die, you return to the water. So they go ahead and they create these effigies, these little um, dolls of people to depict people who have passed away. And then they will put those dolls into the river and they flow downstream. And that's supposed to be some way of like honoring or like memorializing those who have passed on. So that's why this temple is here to act as like a doll shrine for people to come and I guess like put like dolls that represent their loved ones maybe that's why there's so many dolls here people the people who lived here long before would come over here and this would be the ritual they do I'm still not sure what the ritual that Ren saw in his dream was though because in the dream it looked like he was killing um, like an actual girl, the, the white haired girl, right? It looked like he was killing her and then putting the body inside the chest. So maybe it started out as like a, a ritual killing and then it eventually changed over to instead of killing people, they just used effigies as a stand in, maybe. Maybe? I don't know, my, my brain is kind of like spinning on circles right now, but this kind of explains why the dolls are here. It's seen as like some kind of ritual to memorialize people who've passed. Human sacrifices to human effigies. Honestly, it's a lot more efficient to sacrifice uh, dolls than it is to sacrifice people. You know, like there are more, you can make more dolls. You can't, I mean, well, I guess you can, but like, it takes a while to make more people, you know? Oh my god. Okay, the 
looks like a circle room, so... Whoa! A masked man. <gasps> it's Tanjiro and Nezuko. Do I really want to go in the water? Okay, I guess we'll have to go in the water. I can see a white face of a large doll behind the blinds. That must be the main... the main shrine. Oh, there's the, the main shrine doll. I can't seem to get any further. Oh, there's a fence here. Okay. Huh? What is that? Ooh. More dolls. Shinri about the Cotton 4K looking at Ghost Booty. There's no need for that. It's just all dolls. Just closed. Okay, okay. It's just the door closing. Okay. <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell? So it looks like the ghosts are pretty the, the doll ghosts are pretty weak. One one shot is enough to get them. Yeah. Okay, door. Door? Your reflex saved you. <laughs> oh, it's one of the children. The trap went to the back. So. Oh! Oh, the creak. The sounds of creaking wood? Oh my god, that's so eerie. Oh, I bet you there's another one. The ones that kind of stand alone like this seem to be where they spawn. No? Okay. I want to pick this up, and then I want to get a picture of you, because I know you're going to spawn right there. Okay. <gasps> Type 90 film. Oh. Film with symbol of purification. It's effective at exorcising ghosts and loads quickly. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Anything here? Can I check you? Open. Type sixty one. There was one more item. When you come around here, it was... I thought there was another symbol here. Guess not. Hello? It's kind of eerie how some of the dolls are missing their heads, like over those, like these two here. Like these ones all have heads, but these two here don't have heads. So I have to go this way. 
chase that fleeing child. And it takes us back out here into the forest. Okay, there's an item somewhere around here. What the hell? What? Oh my god. Okay, let's see if there's any items here that we can collect first. It looks like we ended up on the other side of the shrine. This is really spooky, I don't like this. Okay, there's an item to our left somewhere. What? Down here? The game is saying that there's an item around here. <gasps> Where is it? Okay, it's over to our right. Up, up, up. This direction? Down. Oh! Is this... It's like around here. supposed to be around here. Maybe we're too far away for something. I can kind of hear the humming noise. Okay, let's keep going. Proceed. Haruka didn't come this way. Her trace led me inside the building. What? The trace led me inside the building. Maybe it's on this other side. Like around here? No? It seems like it's this thing. Like what's the humming from the sound of humming? Wait, are you a doll? I don't know if that's a doll or not. face here. Look at the lips, right? The lips on that doll. And then compare that doll's face to this quote doll. Look at those lips. That's not a doll. That's not a doll. That one isn't the doll. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Uh. Oh. 
so-called effigy. I think it was made to look like me. Ooh. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! Wait, wait, wait. Distance, distance. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. I think we can get... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, get some distance. Wait, let's see if we can get them all in the same photo. Please, please. They actually don't seem to be very aggressive. Do they just really want to play? Wait, they're not attacking me, they're just... They're just running around. Got it, but we didn't get a C. There's the last one. I feel bad. They're not. They're not attacking. They're just playing. See if we can take What? I didn't catch the last one. All right, we found the effigy. That door? This door? There's another door here. Ah. I've seen this before. Come on. Come on out. Okay, guess not. Mask, thank you for stopping by. And thank you for all the translations. Thank you, thank you. Hope you get lots of sleep. Can't open this door, but we can open this one. Okay. It suddenly got a lot less cute. Okay, see, when this happens, like, this is not okay. At least the other stuff is kind of cute, right? There's an old document lying in the dresser. Seems to be a record of something. Having sat abandoned for many years, the Shrine of Dolls... Oh. Having been sat for... abandoned for many years, the Shrine of Dolls has now undergone significant reconstruction. In the past, local legends tell that the Shrine used so-called effigies as offerings. These effigies are likely the old dolls that were found inside. 
The road to the shrine was improved, and so the number of visitors gradually increased. There was no end to the visitors bringing their own dolls to add to those left outside. Assuming this practice to be harmless, no effort has been made to prevent it. As we were repairing the old dolls, we learned that each of them is engraved with a name. We also found tiny teeth, bones, and small bundles of hair tucked away inside. <gasps> They're supposed are they the bones and teeth of the people who passed away that the dolls are each supposed to symbolize literal effigies yeah were these mere keepsakes or perhaps something more whoever was doing the research on the shrine of dolls didn't under, didn't know the history that the the doll shrine was supposed to be there for people who passed away Leaving a memento of the person, yeah. It's kind of sad, yeah. Sympathetic link with the person. Back then, they must have not really understood, which is why they would, you know, come up with these rituals. They used to make dolls in Europe using hair of the girls they made them for. Oh. The purpose of the shrine has since become clear. It appears these dolls are believed to contain the souls of deceased children and were likely offered to the shrines as some kind of ritual. <gasps> Deceased children. That would make sense. Because back in the past, child mortality rates would have been pretty high without, you know, the medicine and the facilities and the technology that we have now. You know, if a child got sick a long, long time ago, then unfortunately many of them would pass away so with high child mortality rates they would come around here and build all these dolls at the shrine to represent all of those deceased children that's why there's so many children ghosts yeah as some kind of ritual and then this ritual over time became almost um like mutated it changed over time and people thought, oh, this is just where dead people go, right? So it, it moved, it, be, it grew from beyond just, you know, dolls containing the souls of deceased children to, oh, they're these dolls and it's a place where dead people go. And then that's how the folklore kind of spiraled out of control to the point where now it's seen like this mountain is a place that people just go to, you know, end their stories clipped out of context yeah that's a good way to put it like they didn't have the full understanding so only like the big parts of oh this is where dead people are becomes it spirals out of control more and more you know yeah context was lost as time went on Ooh. we also learned of a cave below the shrine known as the womb cavern it housed several human remains Perhaps initially, it was not dolls offered up at the shrine, but people. These seem, it seems the cavern may be where the bodies were disposed. <gasps> I knew it! I knew it! They started originally with these children being offered up at the shrine. People. Real people. And now, since then, they've changed over from sacrificing people to sacrificing dolls do you think it may have been some kind of ritual to like protect the children like if we sacrifice a living child now maybe it'll give us good luck to ensure that future children born at least for a certain amount of time after the sacrifice that they would be born healthy maybe that's why they did it you know okay, thanks for stopping by hope you have a wonderful nap Sweet dreams. Chichima-san was kids from milestone ages because of mortality rates. Ah. Yeah. Seems in line with what usually happens. Context being lost is a better way to put it. Half of the reason folklore exists because certain events become more and more romanticized as the decades go by. Oh yeah, I can see that. Messed up logic born out of desperation. Yeah, because they wouldn't have known. They just, there wouldn't have been a way for them to know. Olden times, it was believed it could help. Yeah. 
maybe that's what the maidens were there for, the shrine maidens. They were there to protect the shrine because for them, it was a holy place where they would, you know, conduct these ritual sacrifices. And then hopefully the people around the area, the, the, the towns that lived on the mountain, their children would be born without health complications or they would be able to survive those early stages. It sounds far off, but has happened in real life multiple times with the same thought process. Yeah, like a mother to her child. That's what I'm thinking. It, it would make sense. It lines up that way. We are considering renovating in the cavern into a storage space, placing the bones in the dolls of their own, and holding a joint memorial service for them all. Must have been like a, a more modern note of people who come here and done some research and like try to renovate the whole place. So I think they at least understand the significance of what this place is. But if they say they are considering renovating the cavern into a storage space, that must mean there is a way inside. And I think that's where we're heading. Inside the cavern. Those look eerily realistic. Like, oh gosh, mannequins. Oh my god. Chat, this is the go. Oh, it's just a mask. This is like the, the two of my worst fears mannequins and children. Oh my god. It's just the head. It's just the mannequin head. Okay. Oh, what the hell? What are these faces? Okay. I guess we have to pull back this curtain. What? Oh my god, there's nothing there. It's like the mannequin body and the like the hips and the legs are gone but <sighs> what's inside this storage closet though Japanese style dresser in the closet. I guess we can't open those. No? I guess there's nothing in the, the closet area. Ooh. Oh! Wait. Doll parts are scattered atop the shelf. Sorry. Bodhi, thank you for stopping by. Please get lots of sleep and lots of rest. Is it over here? Oh. Shrine of Dolls 3. Oh. Where's Shrine of Dolls 2? I've been having those dreams again, where I'm playing with the kids. I started looking forward to playing with them. Sometimes I don't even want to wake up. I looked into it, and the games we've been playing actually used to exist. One is called Spirited Away. Everyone hides each other's dolls, and whoever finds theirs last is spirited away. That is, they go out of the game. Wooden dolls were usually used, made from sticks of trees on the mountain. <sighs> Wooden dolls made from sticks. The tree that we saw outside. <sighs> the next game was called Ghost Marriage. I wanna play that game. Everyone hides their dolls except for one person called the Outsider. That person chooses a partner of the opposite sex and searches for their doll. It's a bit like hide and seek. Only the owner of a doll that is found is said to be bound, that is married to the Outsider. However, 
If the outsider finds the wrong doll, the owner of the doll becomes the outsider instead. My theory is that these games are based on ancient rituals that took place on the mountain. In my dreams, the games go on until the children disappear into the mist. I wonder what how it happened if they took me with them. Oh. I wonder what happened to this researcher. Should we take another peek? Nothing. That stuff is so creepy, though. <laughs> Alright. I want... Do we ever find... Where's number two? Hang on. I want to go back a little bit because I wonder if we missed um, the doll shrine entry number two. Okay. So we entered through here. There are many dolls lined up on the shelves. Looks like they've been arranged by size. Small. <gasps> Ooh. How do I get that? I guess it's on the other side. Okay. Let's go around here and... water. <gasps> Can I go through here? No. Can I go through here? No. I think we have to go this way through the water. <laughs> he's a little drunk. Yeah, he's a little bit wibbly. Gotcha. There we go. Show me your story. Ah, uh, no story. Okay. That last one was good. No, it's a little blurry, but look, he's actually kind of good looking. Isn't he? Look at that. Ah, uh, I wish it was more centered. I wish it was more centered. This is the best one I get, so we'll go ahead and save it. What about the other ones? Nah. Like a, like a good drip shot, I guess, like what I wore today. <laughs> I'm gonna save it for the outfit. Alright. I think that's it. And those are the ghost kids. Alright. Just gotta remind myself to, like, go and, like, capture, save the pictures. After each fight. What the hell is this place? Out 
<laughs> hashtag outfit of the day. <laughs> Countless dolls are lined up on the shelves. There are also many that have fallen into the water. Oh my god. Who's posing for you? Yeah. <gasps> Check the left side first, because I think this is a dead end, so you might. Okay, can we inspect anything here? Countless dolls. No, okay. Some sturdy wood. Yeah, the wood hasn't rotted, but like some of it has, but like most of it seems pretty, pretty good. <gasps> what the? It's just a curtain. I just saw red and I thought it was like blood. Type zero zero? What? A single, a single piece of film? Like a single shot? Special film. It is most effective at exercising ghosts, but takes time to load. Oh. We're gonna have to save that one for for big fights, like a boss fight. What is here? I don't see anything, but it looks like the stairs or something. That's the master ball. <laughs> Let's see how long it takes to load. That's the Type 7. Okay, so it's like a full second longer. This is the Type 61. The Type 61 actually loads the slowest. Type 14... It's not that fast. We'll stick with the Type 90, because I think it's the one that loads the... like, consistently? Yeah, why are we even thinking of this now? I wonder if there's like a boss fight that's going to be coming up. Oh, it's on the other side, okay. Like the... Oh. What? Ooh. Wow. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, that's cheating. Whoa! Oh, you can't counter that? Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't think you can counter it. There's another one. Oh my god, there's another one. Whoa. Okay. There's another one. It 
what you're looking at. I'm looking at center of mass. It's what you use to, like... Ah, oh, it doesn't work. That's cheating? That was cheating. It's center of mass. It's what you, like, aim to make sure you have, like, the most, like, consistent hits on the target. It's tactical, chat. It's tactical. <laughs> Get, uh, there we go. Yeah. One more. I can't tell how much help you have. Oh my god. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Do we get it? No, too far away. No spirit. No spirit glance. Okay. I think if you lock on, you can see their health. I thought only Ren could see their health. I thought, um... Uh, I forgot our main character's name. Mirror stone. Nice. I forgot. I don't think she can see it. Can she? This is very important. Restores your health depend on <gasps> life steal. Oh, okay, okay. Hang on, life steal? What? Lens? <gasps> Ooh. Life steal. Oh my god. Okay. I don't think we'll. Depending on how much it heals. Depending on how much it heals, I don't think we need to use items now. This is where I want to take a pause and go backwards. Because we just had a fight, so I think I want to go back to that doll room with the broken, like the pieces of mannequins and head back because it was a door that we didn't explore. I'm still looking for uh, doll shrine entry number two. Creatorism, you're going to be up in that membership. Oh, Quady, thank you for your streams. Just got a hospital job, so you. <gasps> Congratulations! Congrats! That's exciting. I hope it is wonderful. Let you have a wonderful experience with it. Morning, do you, oh, Quady. Thank you for me that membership. Thank you. Thank you. Oh wait, that's right, we can check the map, right? So there's that, and then we go upstairs. Mm, town? Oh, there was that one room that we still haven't gone to. Okay, through here. Go all 
all the way through here. Turn and enter this room, right? No, I can't open that. Ah, I think it's this one. Yeah, the creepy one. And then through this door, we haven't gone through this one yet. Ah, of course. Shut by a powerful force. Alright. Let's just go to try this door now. It's been a while since I've seen the ghost hand. Okay. Let's see. The one last thing is there's an area behind the doll shelf. Maybe it's in here? Because we opened this door, but we didn't really find anything inside. Maybe it's in here. Old style dresser. But we can't open the dresser. It's just the dresser. Uh... Okay. We can't interact with this thing. Nor that thing. And I can't actually talk to any of these. I don't think there's anything inside the closet. Because this is the only thing we can interact with and it won't let me open. Old style... Japanese doll dresser in the closet, and that's it, unfortunately. What about the dresser outside the closet? Go check that one. Because I think we already opened this one. Yeah, we've already opened this one. This is where we found the first one. And then we found number three inside this dresser. I guess it's not here. I guess we have to go check it out someplace else. Alright. Okay, so let's head back this way. That door doesn't lead anywhere. Distance of a childlike statue. There's an item over here. Hmm, maybe to the left. No, we can't go left. You see that, chat? Right here, there's an item right there. It's it's healing herbs. We don't need these, but like, there's an area that we haven't explored yet. Wait. Uh, let's find us. Back. Is it through the middle? So it looks like we have to go through here, out here, outside, or like through this door, here, and then inside the main chamber, and then from the main chamber, out to the, or to our left, all the way across, and then to the right. To our left, all the way across. Wait, but that doesn't make sense. Right here? Huh? No, that's not where we're supposed to go. This one's shut. That's the closet. We want to go into this one right here. Like right there, this is the one that we want to go into. 
which you can only access from the, the main central area. Uh, yeah, I guess we can't find it, do uh, find it here. So we'll have to go all the way around. Right? I think I may be turning myself around at this point. But... Okay, through here. Down the stairs. Through the water. And then after we go through... I wonder if entry number two is here, but it doesn't have the glowy bit, the glowy thing, so I don't know. Because I've been looking for the glowing um, light to like guide us to where the items are, and I don't see any. Nor does it show up on the HUD. And this is where we found Sorry, the mirror stone. Yeah, okay. Imagine the moist. I'm worried about like her boots and the water and the water getting stuck into the boots. And then like wet socks. Yeah. That's like the worst. Wet socks. Wet socks are the worst. Now that we're back here, let us continue through. All right, I found the doll. Give me. There we go. Here we can play together. Stay until you feel like dying. Play. Whoa. Okay, now we're fighting. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, one, two, three, four, one more. And now we get a chance. Ooh. Run. Hey, there's like no space to run. What the hell? Whoa. Oof. Two different film type. Where? Where? Ooh. Where? Behind us? Behind us? Behind us? Whoa! That's right. Oh my god, this takes so long to load. Uh. Oh no, she teleported. Okay, okay. Get her. One. You know what? We're gonna switch films. This, this takes way too long to load. Two. Defending herself with the effigies. Oh, I see, see. Dodge and. Okay, okay. There we go. Woo.
I found this effigy on the floor. I should put it back on the doll display. You place the effigy on the doll display. It sounded as if something moved beneath the doll display. The wooden lattice blocking the hidden staircase has opened. Staircase. Oh, it's open now. Oh, there's no like cutscene, it just takes you right to the camera. not allow yourself to be taken by the black water. What? The ne Ooh. The netherworld? What? Wow. Wait, this is not fair. How am I supposed to fight against this when it's, there's like there's no place to move? Place to move. I can't run. Uh, type. Where? Oh jeez. Okay. Run, run. I'm slow from the water, and there's no space to move. Don't want to use that yet. Watch. area visible outside. Yeah. Oh. It's not fair when they put us in like these tight enclosed areas. What? What was that? Flowing down. Looks like there's something floating down there. It's the doll. to the mountain because we haven't even seen the rest of the mountain yet. Yeah, not yet, but who knows? Ooh. Proceed. The door is locked. And the lock is broken and it won't be able to open it. Alright, so let's go this way. Oh. 
A black box sits in the hollow along the passageway. I guess this is where they put the the sacrifices. Okay, but the thing is, like, the thing I'm wor wondering about is the man carrying the reliquary was like, you mustn't let yourself, um, like, be touched by the the black water. Is the black water the stuff that's oozing out of each of these boxes? It could be hair, but I think it's the black water. Ooh. I don't know if you heard that, but... <laughs> yeah. Bad hand, right? Bad touch. There's so many boxes. Standing there. I need to take my heart into the water deeper and deeper into the depths. What? What the hell? Oh, don't tell me this is Haruka. Wait, you're alive? What? I'm melting. Stay with me, Haruka. Yeah, how is she alive? What the heck? Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Oh my 
god. Okay, okay. I don't think the lifesteal lens is that good. Gotcha. Wait, three, two, one. No. Shots go. Eleven. Two. Ten. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> sup, Anuka? Just, just chilling. Don't mind me. Don't mind. Nine. save that photo no her face is cut off right there in the corner <laughs> her face is cut off on the corner man ah uh, that would have been a great photo with the random like haruka photo bomb that would have been amazing wait haruka wait where'd you go stay there Jeez. Yeah. From like, thank you so much for the gift of memberships. Thank you, thank you. I get some hearts and chat for frog like and the gift of memberships. Partially open box submerged in water. It looks like it's filled with dark water. Not heal by life stealing away from living other people. Like they have to be ghosts. I don't think you can life steal. There we go. <laughs> That'd be hilarious, right? Like as you're taking damage, you're like, "Hey, how do I come over here and you like life steal a few photos away?" Another black box that the one Haruka was in. It's underwater. The lid is shut. Someone inside this one too. Wait, so what is the black water then? Beyond the ground beyond the box, the ground drops off and the water's flowing down. There's a winch. Maybe it was used to pull something up. Oh, there's the winch. Alright, let's see if we can get out of here. The door is locked. An iris flower is created on the lock. Okay, we'll have to come back with a key. Um, ew. Are we sure it's like black water, or is it? Are we sure it's not like hair? Just a whole bunch of hair.
It's okay. We will we will explain everything once we get back. Okay, so this is where we came from. Just need to head backwards through this area, up the stairs, and then we leave uh, the doll shrine, and then we're good. Ah, the stairs, perfect. So back to the doll shrine, and then we're going to escape from the doll shrine. think when Haruka is saying that she wants to be together that she's actually planning on going back and finishing the job with Fuyuhi like is she still being possessed she says, I'm sorry, but like maybe it's like, I'm sorry you weren't there to also join us when we left together. You know, it could be like that. You can interpret it in two different ways, so. Because she was completely drenched in the black water, which we already know is something that you should not touch. I couldn't find her. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Ghost? Ghosty? Ghosty? Okay, no. <laughs> oh. That little black water is bad. How bad is it? the source? We don't know where the source is, though. Like how the companion is the scariest thing in the game. <laughs> Alright. Go across, back through here, and then we can escape through this door, or we go all the way around through here. We'll just go through this uh, quick way. Oh, we haven't gone through this door, have we? Forward, left, left, U turn, and then across. There's a gray door right here that we haven't gone through. Okay, so we'll go out here, through the water, left, left, U-turn, all the way down here, ah, and here's the door that we haven't been to yet. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <gasps> A pile of dusty paper lamps and oh my god. <sighs> Haruka, please. Wh what are you doing? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. Haruka, chill, chill. Chill, oh my god. <laughs> okay, I had a little heart attack because normally, like, when you're reading things in dialogue like that, like, they don't move, you know? They don't, they don't wander around. It, it's like a time freeze moment so that you can read the... Like whatever you found, and then Haruka just walks right. Oh, oh, it's the dog again. Yeah. How is her hair perfectly braided? Haruka. What? Haruka? Uh, I think if we just move far away enough, she might teleport to us, so... Oh my god, the shadows. <gasps> oh. <sighs> oh my god. How are the companions the scariest thing? and then to the right and then we're done if we went to the left and then we go around to the right and we are out yes <gasps> oh. Oh. oh my god If there are like doll enemies, I think we're on the right path. Haruka? Okay, there you are. Enemies means we're on the right path. So, I guess we can just go through here, past the broken 20 gate. And then we should be good. Proceed. I found Haruka. We need to get off this mountain. Oh no, we have to go the other way. Uh oh. Is it this way? No, because this way leads out to the... Oh gosh. So, back. Left door. Right door. Hallway? Hallway. Okay, okay. This is a little bit a little bit confusing chat. Okay. That's one, that's one. So right door, hallway, hallway. Right door. And then Oh. oh my god. There's more jump scares. Okay, right door. Through here. Through here. A hallway. Around. Door. And then through the main chamber, uh, from the main chamber, we go down. So we go this way. Okay, now we're on the right path. Can Haruka walk in front of us like high key nerve wracking having her behind us? Yeah. Oh, we're supposed to go through the big double doors. Double doors. And now we're good. Oh. <laughs> that one almost got me. Does she have footsteps? I don't think so. Okay. Through 
heal. Should be out. Oh my god. Oh. So okay, we're outside. Okay, okay. Haruka? Come on, Haruka. Not like this. Haruka? Are you still here? NPCs. <laughs> oh my god. No, we just follow Haruka. We just saw her running. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. There's an old handwritten note here. It's covered in black smears. I must kill them all. Every. Oh, it's from the Maiden Slayer. Excuse me. I must kill them all, every Shrine Maiden. I can't stand their eyes. I must gouge them out. They have seen too much. Seen too much? Wait. There's the temple. She ran to the left, so this way. Wait, what do they mean by seen too much? items. I know we have to save Haruka, but like, I also want to collect all these items. Did you come to see me? What? No, don't tell me she's possessed. Not again. We just saved you. Haruka? Dissolve into the mountains. Oh, it's you. You're the one who possessed you. Come on. Oh, what? Now we should get a five. Oh. Whoa. Oh. oh my god, what's up now? No, this is not for Yuhi. This is the spirit that possessed for Yuhi and made her slice her own throat. What's calling for you? 
Come on. Let's get out of here. Right. For you, he. The blade is calling for you. How did she survive, though? Oh. It's Ren. What were you doing there? I saw the setting sun. It was drawing me in. I was becoming a part of it, as if I were melting. Well, what's important is that you're back. Miracle, you're not hurt. Everyone has really Where nice is hair. Where is Ryuhi? Huh? Is she here? Oh. Uh, uh oh. I hear a song. That song. Haruka, please. Just try and get some rest for now, okay? Right. Thank you. <laughs> How do you break that news to her? Haruka, I'd better give her some time to recover. I have to tell Ren and Rui about Hisoka. She's humming the song of memories for the one that she sang with. She's humming the song that she used to sing with Fuyuhi. Oh, that's really sad. Yeah, she's humming. It's the song that she used to sing with her. That's the one thing that she remembers. Be having a terrible nightmare. Candid shot. A. Wait. B caught me slipping. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Wait, his bracelet. Wait. No, don't, don't. Don't look at me. No, 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 don't. Touch. <gasps> he is having the nightmare again. <sighs> the nightmare where he has to. Don't, don't look at me. Huh? Ren, it's time. We'll leave now. You should get some rest. I know. Good night. We don't. We, he met her as a child. We don't know. All we need. All we know is that he's been having nightmares of him being younger and killing um, that girl. Reincarnated? No. Thing. <laughs> <gasps> 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 
Oh my god. Oh my god, what the hell? That dream, it was just like the memory I saw when I touched Haruka in the cave. I need to know more. Maybe if I ask her. What the hell? Okay. Girl, you live here. Stop opening the door so dramatically. Oh my god. I, I swear to God, yeah, we're gonna open the door and it's gonna turn out that Haruka's not here. That she's already, like, run off. And this one? Was it? I don't know. I don't remember which door it was. Okay, it wasn't this one. Uh, I think it was the storage room door downstairs. Yeah, a hundred percent. I bet you she's gone. She's either gone or like completely delirious and like repeating stuff about the sunset. It's gotta be one of those two. Oh my god. Okay. Through here. There we go. Haruka? Yeah, of course she's gone. yet on the corners of the screen. It's like really dark. security camera it's not just her passed on over she's helping Haruka also join her and the other girls <sighs> Yuri finds the missing Haruka Momose in a reliquary in the cave beneath the shrine of dolls she takes the girl back to the shop Haruka is in no state to talk and can't explain what happened to her that night Haruka is vis visited by Fuyuhi's ghosts which takes her back to the mountain Is Fuyuhi trying to get them to both unlock together? Yeah, because originally Fuyuhi wanted to go and uh, like to meet up with Haruka, but then the ghost got Fuyuhi instead, the spirits. And now that Fuyuhi is dead, she's also going back to finish the job and bring Haruka back there as well. Let's go. That's a lot of points. Points earned 73,000. Oh my god. Chat, we're only 23% into the game. We're only 23% into the game. I was hoping to at least get to a third so that we could finish one third after all of that. Do we 
keep going? Because this means we have about 75% that we need to divide by two for tomorrow and Thursday. Let's keep going. One more chapter. One more chapter. Okay, we'll do one more chapter. One more chapter. Give me a minute. I need to go drink some water. Yeah, who needs sleep, right? Another two hours for the fifth drop? Are so familiar with spirits at the very least you should know some protective spells right and like defend your place of work for it because like even especially knowing that hisoka was the one who warned ren and was like hey by the way if you own this the people who you know come in contact with it or come in possession with the camera obscura have these bad things happen to him so she knows and even like warned him like hey by the way like I, I would like to take it off your hands for a while you know like I'll even compensate but like she has her own and doesn't provide all the protection like what's going on there hip afraid thank you for stopping by as well hope you have a wonderful night please take care all right let's check out some costumes the common sense in me is telling me I can't keep going. Good night, everyone. It was great being here for the past six hours. Chakra here. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. Please take care. All right. We'll do one more and then we'll call it. I want to get to like 25, maybe like 28% or so. Let us check out uh, the new costumes if you have any. How do you get more costumes? No, it's all the same ones. Normal outfit. I still think the normal outfit's like super cute. I still think that's cute. Punk ensemble. Kitsy goth ensemble. Swimsuit. I think we'll just stick with the punk one. You have to beat the game. We're gonna do all of the game in a single. <laughs> The normal one is cute too, right? I like this one. I like this one a lot. I think we'll stick with the punk one though, because it has like, it's got some vibes. I like the jacket. It's really nice. Alright. We're going to be playing as Ren Hojo in the fifth drop, so... Let's go make sure that Ren is wearing... Yeah. Ren is wearing the groom's outfit, and... This way we're ready to to ask any spooky ghosts that we see their hand in marriage. Let's go. From the writings he found at Ichiru Manor, Ren learns of the folklorist who lived on Mount Ikami. Ren sets out to the unfathomable forest to see if the rumors of a disappearing house are true. Don't think we need anything and I don't really want to use points for film because we burn through film so quickly. The Veiled House. Ben Hojo's story. In the course of their investigation, Ren and Rui learn of Keiji Watarai, a folklorist who settled on Mount Ikami. 
His writings are certain to be a treasure trove of information about the mountain and its peculiar folklore. Ren and Rui happened across a videotape that may just indicate the way to the Watsurai residence. No. You, no, don't. No. Seven days. We, we know what happens when you watch a videotape about spooky stuff. We know. <laughs> Damn, okay. He's looking good, though. Okay, it looks actually pretty good in, like, in person. Jetto, thank you for stopping by. Please get lots of sleep. Fuyuhi took her own life, and Rui attempted on a live. The ghost of a shrine maiden appeared on both occasions. Yuri spoke of a black box that she found Haruka trapped in. Does the key to all these events lie in the mountain's dark past? A folklorist, Keiji Watara, used to live there. His notes may shed some light on the mystery. The videotape Rui found is on the desk. Seems to be related to the folklorist. Going on a Tinder date to the mountains. <laughs> I should take a look at it. Okay. The white suit though, right? Oh, it's a vest. I like the vest, like the, the vest piece. Looking good. Oh, are you serious? Oh my god, chat. When we're playing as... Um, oh gosh, why can't I remember her name? Sky Princess, thank you for stopping by. Hope you get lots of sleep. Uh, Yudi, yeah. When we're playing as Yudi, the camera's like like full on like it just shows her ass and it's like it's like in, it's designed to be like oh look at this look at this right but when you're playing as Ren you can't see any of that cake like it's just shoulder and top you know like come on camera where's the equality where's the equality where is it the videotape and some notes on the desk they seem to be related to Mount Ikami. see even this looks Looks like it's cursed. Why would you watch this? Oh, the doll shrine. The cavern underneath. And then the house. I don't remember seeing this house here before. What? A house? Uh, anyone in? I'm going in. Wait, who's the... Who's the film? Filmer? Camera? What? Oh, I don't like this. Huh. Doesn't look like anyone's lived here for a while. I'm gonna raise the volume a little bit so you can hear the dialogue. Whoa! Oh, part of the floor is missing. A phone. Oh! <laughs> Let's just move on, shall we? The static filter's a little excessive. A box. What house is this, though? I'm gonna go upstairs. Whoever this is, they have a really nice voice. I'm on the second floor now. So there's the hole. <gasps> oh. Wait, did she not notice that body in the closet? You're here. Huh? Oh. I think I heard something. <gasps> the body is gone.
the hallway wow. at the end. That's a lot of books. Go around the second floor. There's a library. Huh. I'm gonna try to remember the layout of this house. Nope. Can't understand a word. Through the library. Sword, it's on display, and an attic through the room past the library. Okay, okay. Is there a third floor? I'm gonna climb up the ladder. Okay, chat remember, she went through the doll's house already to get to here. Looks like it's the attic. This will be a jump scare. Oh. oh my god. It's a written report in Rudy's handwriting along with commentary in the video. I knew it. Yeah, nothing ever good happens in the attic. We Nick, we can call, yeah. I knew it was coming, it still scared, but yeah, just a bit. Sorry, the the sound I think must have been really loud, because I raised the volume a little bit. Okay, so Rui reports. The diary found at the old inn mentioned a folklorist who lives on Mount Hikami. I found more information on him, including his name, books in the occult. This folklorist, Keiji Watarai, went to the mountain due to his obsession with the mysteries of a sect living there. When he went missing, as mentioned in the diary, and rumors about what happened to him abound. They say he didn't just die or go missing, but rather he stumbled on something in the mountain. Well, oh, sorry. <clears throat> it's supposed to be like it's G, right? They say that he didn't go and or he didn't just die or go missing, but rather he stumbled on something the mountain wanted kept hidden, so his entire house was swallowed up by the mist. This is the origin of one of Hikami's more recent stories about a haunted house. While the veracity of this is unclear, I looked into the videotape left behind by someone stumbled across the house. The video is apparently famous in occult circles. I contacted, I contacted the publisher and received the following response. Dear Rui Kagamiya, Thank you for contacting us. The video you're looking for is no longer in print, but there are some copies in our warehouse. The video prompted a huge amount of feedback from its customers. The tape was found near a river on, the, on Mount Hikami. It is unknown who filmed it. There were many sections too damaged by water to be usable, and so we took what was left and edited 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 edited. Edited it. Oh my god. Edited. Why is this so hard to find? Edit ed. Mixed it together. The master copy of the video was confiscated by the police. They conducted a search of the mountain but were unable to find who shot the film or even the house's location. Now that entering the Funfathomal Forest is prohibited, we advise you not to look into this on your own. Koji Kai Kakimoto. Uh, Shui Gensha Film Division. I believe the vi building visible at the start of the video is Shrine Dolls. The Shrine of Dolls. After that, what we see seems to be a cave, but it's hard to make anything out. <gasps> oh, that's right. Because it was only Yuri who went through. Ren and Ri uh, Rui don't... They weren't able to get into that portion. Because they had only gone to the inn that burned down. So they have no idea. This would be the first time they've ever seen the underground caves. From the large number of books seen in the house, it's likely that this is really the former home of Keiji Watarai. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Ren speaking. Ren. I've been trying to get in touch with you. I was worried. Oh! <gasps> Listen. He's inside about the house. what I said to you before. He's in the house. I'm getting married. What? You are? Yeah. The phone in the That's... corner. Wow. Um, congratulations. Uh, and who's the lucky bride? 
Anyone I know? The fall in the corner. Ever since I saw her picture. Will you die with me? Fred went missing. I had like a moment of, oh no, the moment I saw that phone in the corner. Wait, how did his friend end up there though? The veiled house. From the shrine of dolls into a cave. This may, this, this may be the same route Yuri took. I should start by going there. Wait, there's a few more things that we need to... Ah, a few more things we need to collect. Lily's journal. These notes look like Lily's. Maybe she dropped them. I wonder if it's okay to read these. Mr. Hojo often cries out in his sleep. He won't tell me much, but it seems like he has a reoccurring dream. About a, about a ceremony from his childhood. As a young boy, Mr. Hojo said he spent a summer with relatives at the base of Mount Kaga, Kagiroi. At the base of Mount Kaga, Kagiroi. He mentioned playing in an old house and a shrine at the mountain. Some kind of festival he went to. Mr. Hojo doesn't talk about his past too much, so what he has told me, I remember clearly. Is he dreaming of the ceremony? I went to festivals as a child, but all I remember is having a good time. It doesn't sound like the festival Mr. Hojo dreams about is any fun. He often cries, don't look at me, in his sleep. I realize that there's a reoccurring theme of Yuri not liking mirrors, not liking being seen. And now also Ren Hojo saying, don't look at me. Like, there's something about, like, the reflection or, like, being perceived that's, like, underlying both of these characters. I wonder where that, what the symbolism of that is. He's always had a hard time with people staring at him. He especially dislikes it when women look at him for too long. See? I wonder what, what the significance of that is. People staring at him. Mirrors are said to trap spirits. Just like me for real, for real. <laughs> and then there's also Yudi, who doesn't... Ever since the incident, you know, quote, she doesn't like looking at the mirrors. Or doesn't like looking at her own reflections. I really want to know where... Where does that come from, you know? He won't even look Miss Kurosawa or Miss Kozukata in the eye sometimes. He doesn't have that issue with me, though. Are the women he's dreaming about really that frightening? Oh, I hope they are. I hope they are. I think this is a pretty good, like, subtle nod. Subtle nod? I don't think it's that subtle. But it's more like a, like a, like a nice nod to the fact that Rui is very androgynous in appearance. So maybe that's why Ren doesn't have that issue because um, Rui, specif they specifically stay out here. He doesn't have that issue with me though. That's gotta be a nod, right? That has to be. That's gotta be. Man. Maybe I'll also find some more about the post-mortem photograph. Let's go. Oh, thank goodness. They just teleport hey, us right Sakaki. here. He was helping you look for post-mortem photographs, wasn't he? He went missing. I'm just glad to know he's still alive. Yeah, photo. Oh, sorry about the flash. Okay, now we can... Now we can see. Okay, it's a full body. Now it's a full body. Maybe the camera angle is just, like, in the room. Like, now we have the full body. You flash break them. I'm sorry, Rui. Wait, Rui, are you gonna come with? <sighs> Flat cake. You know they have a name for that, right? Pancakes. Or crepes? 
always have to blind your companions at least once. No, wait, hold up. That's important, though. <gasps> oh, that's right. They caught me slipping. Got to save this photo of Ren. Yeah. Save this one, too. Who is the spirit, though? Because we saw uh, Fuyuhi standing in like the the little watery area, and this entity, this spirit, was standing across from her with the knife. Who is this person who is able to exert control over Fuyuhi at a distance? And it's always that knife she's holding. I want to know who they are. It, it seems like the actual entity is not the spirit, but I think the entity is the knife. Because every single time we took a photo, the knife was the one that's highlighted. You know? Who, but who is she? Who is the one that's being possessed by that knife? It says subject, woman with the cut throat, and that's all it says. Looks like the work of an enemy stand. <laughs> I'll save this one. Maybe? Like a cursed sword? Yeah. Like a spear within the knife? Maybe. Because we don't have a name of the subject. It says woman with the cut throat. So maybe she's simply a victim that is being possessed by that knife to go around and like beckon or urge people to also go ahead and cut their throat, you know? Maybe it's like that. Maybe she just happens to be another one of the victims. I wonder if that's the ritual knife from Ren's dream. It kind of does look like that, actually, now that you mention it. As a child, Ren would be smaller, so he would hold it with two hands, like he did in the dream. This is an adult woman, so you'd only need one-handed. <gasps> That's a good catch. Maybe, maybe it is. Maybe that actually is the knife that... <sighs> oh, maybe, maybe. Subject Ren Hojo. I think we want to hold, let's hold on to that possible point, the possible plot point, let's hold on to that, and then see if it comes around in a circle afterwards. I don't know, hello, morning? What do you mean, good, what do you mean good morning? <laughs> oh no, it's 1am for me. Alright. We've already been here before. So if you want to make a shortcut straight to... We have to go down this set of stairs right here. Oh. Are we lagging? Are we lagging? Oh no, Chet, are we lagging? All right. If we're lagging, I'm going to go revisit some... Kind of revisit some, like, important... Uh, documents. While we wait for everyone to come back. We're back. Hello! Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. Uh... Ghosts. The keyword will be ghosts. If you hear ghosts, say ghost. <sighs> Alright, okay. Not too much of a delay. I was just reviewing some important documents. Yeah, very important documents. You know, very lore-related documents. Alright, let us go. I swear to god, if Rui also terrifies me by like teleporting back and forth, it's always the companions. Rui? Rui, 
you know what happened last time, don't do this. <gasps> they made it into the doll shrine room? <gasps> Wait, didn't we... Don't talk to me. I'm not supposed to talk to the living. <gasps> A man at last. You are a man, are you not? I love the confusion. <laughs> I'm a girl. Liar. What? I, I am. I see. In that case, let us play. What? This is an effigy. Of you. No. I'll make you into an effigy. <gasps> no. Not really. the best character at all. Wait, there's still... spirits? So, does that mean we don't... What was that? Louis, where did you go? Wait, so that means we're not actually, like, exercising them. We're just, like, temporarily stunning them. Seichigo-san kimono isn't that even close to seven years old? She's wearing an apron instead of an obi. Oh. There's stairs leading underground. But first, I have to find Rui. <gasps> Wait, did they... Did they turn Rui into... Did she really? Oh my god. What? I hope we were still alive. Louie's like the best character so far. Okay. Maybe down here? Wait, before we go down here, let's go check out the other door. That way we don't have to come back. So this is the hallway, the main one. And then we come through. There's nothing here. We know that Rui didn't go this way because Hojo was, uh, Ren was standing here. So that means that they must have taken Rui down into the cellar where the water is. Because remember the last time we came here with Yuri, there was a doll blocking the way right here. Like there was a doll lying in the way. But, we might be able to go this way. The ghosts have to relive their last moments. I doubt the curse of the mountain is lifted if you really do anything but temporarily tell them to let the ghosts back off. Maybe. Okay, still have my camera obscure. Oh gosh, not the water. <gasps> Ooh, all the items are back. Magical waterproof suit, so we'll be fine. Oh yeah. Another mirror stone. Perfect. At least some Ren moves faster. How did we go down the water with shoes and socks on? Because game logic. It would take too long to take the shoes on and socks off. Okay. Yeah, Ren has like a longer uh what is it? Leg span? Wait, does that mean I have two? 
No, I still only have one uh, tenth of this room. I thought I had two, but I only have one. No, the inventory is not shared. Oh. I think there's more film on this side. Oh no, it's not film. <gasps> oh, there it is. Okay, Shrine of Dolls entry number two. Soiled notebook lying in the hallway. Maybe it belonged to a priest who lived here. The children are playing. Sometimes I wake up at night feeling their presence. The following morning, the dolls that I know I've put away have moved someplace else. The more this happens, the more clearly I hear the sounds of playing, and the more often I have dreams where I'm among the children, playing with them. I can't make out the children clearly, but I think my late daughter is one of- <gasps> My late daughter is one of them. So that would be why he's so susceptible to these dreams because he has also lost a daughter so it would be easier for these spirits to like sway and have influence over them last night it felt like I was being watched I woke to find a white haired girl staring at me she said don't worry your daughter is playing with the doll you fixed after that she disappeared those eyes it's like she could see everything she even seemed to answer the very question that was on my mind. Oh, that's right. He never mentions his lost daughter to her. But she, she's the one who initiates and just says, Don't worry, your daughter's playing with the doll you fixed. So she knows about this priest's daughter's passing and is using that to manipulate him. Man. Why is, why are all the stories of all these characters in Fatal Frame so tragic? Was the white haired girl important in the Shrine Maiden? Did the main kill her too? I think it's implied that the white haired girl was killed by Ren's younger self when he was young, uh, a child, because he keeps having this reoccurring dream where he kills that white-haired girl. So I think it's implied that she has been long dead by the time the Maiden Slayer is out there killing the uh, Shrine Maidens. But we don't really know chronologically what happened between Ren's younger self, child Ren, killing the white-haired girl and Ren as he is now as an adult. We don't really know um, what happened in between. I totally don't understand right now. It's hard to explain. There's a lot of pieces and they're generally in, in order, but we still need a few more pieces to connect everything. Doesn't white mean something bad in parts of Japan. I'm actually not too certain about the significance of this color. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, that startled me. Check. Old Japanese style dresser. Wait, is it? Oh. That didn't <gasps> Okay, we found one of them. Not sure about Japan, but I think white is worn at funerals in China. Oh. Funerals written in China? Nothing. Ooh. 
nothing. Okay. In Laos, white is for funerals too. Oh. Oh, hey, this door was locked the last time we came here. But yeah, it looks like we have to play this game with all the children first before they'll let us find Uli. I can see the white face of a large doll behind the blinds. The white face of a large doll. White signifies purity, is in weddings, religion, and funerals. Uh, yeah, I think there's definitely some uh, symbolism in there. Okay, where have we not been? I think one of the rooms with like the closets might be where the other ghosts are hiding. sound from the ghosts, so they're probably hiding somewhere else. Culture. <laughs> I think I got confused because I mixed up with other places. It might be like a like a regional thing. Wedding kimonos are white, but it's like he's wearing funeral wear. Uh, I always think he's about to hit his head in the next one there. Yeah, to be fair, Ben is a lot taller. I always think that's someone, but it's not. It's just that the hair is very pretty. Look at the hair. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Oh, what the hell? Oh. Well, Aquary Man. Oh. That is for living and others for dead. Oh. Shrine of Dolls entry number four. Today's dream was stifling. It was night, and several men carrying burning flame spent a long time exploring the area underneath the main shrine. They carried a huge reliquary underground, burying it where no one would ever find it. The white haired girl was sleeping. The white-haired girl was sleeping inside the box. She was waiting for someone, but it wasn't me. I didn't have what she wanted. At least, I felt like I didn't. I remember feeling so incredibly sad when I woke up. <sighs> Wait. A huge reliquary burying it underground where no one would ever find it. The white-haired girl was sleeping inside that box, so... That means the nightmare that Ren is having, where he killed the white-haired girl as a child... That's real, that's not just a nightmare. He actually participated in that ritual and killed her. Which is why she's showing up as a dream to the priest who lives here. Did Ren really meet her before? Is this something in his past life? It's the the note from Rui specifically mentioned that it's his dream. It's his childhood. Like, hang on. If we go into items, records, item records, and then cutscenes, and we read Rui's journal here, right? He goes, Hoj Mr. Hojo often cries out in his sleep. He has a reoccurring dream, a ceremony from his childhood. So Rui's notes effect pretty much con uh, convinced that, or uh, it confirms that the nightmare he's having, where he's at a, as a kid with a knife, stabbing that white-haired girl and killing her, putting her in the box, this confirms that this is actually from his childhood. And then now. We have this entry 
after Ren has killed her and she is sacrificed and put in the box, after that happens, the priest here is having that dream, having this, this nightmare, seeing that white haired girl getting put down into the deep underground caverns underneath the shrine. So this priest who's writing these Shrine of Dolls entries existed or survived sometime after the ceremony and then some time had passed enough that Ren became an adult. How long ago is the incident? I'm not sure. I don't know how old Ren is. So hang on. Let's see if we can go and rewatch. Cutscene. Ren. Here we go. Ren's ceremony dream. Okay. So there's the white haired girl. There's Ren as a child. Oh no, the knife that Ren is holding is much, much smaller. been at least 10 years. Yeah, 10 years or so. I, I would agree with that. Okay, so it's like a knife, but it's not the same knife. It's much smaller. There's the white-haired girl. And then there's the box. There he goes. Kills her. And then she sacrificed inside this box. And then you see the black water coming out. And then... And then that is the box. That's the box that we see here that the priest talks about in his dream. The white-haired girl was sleeping inside that box. a ritual for something yeah i think the ritual is leading back to the shrine of dolls three right where uh no, maybe shrine of dolls one yeah i think it's i think the ritual is leading back to shrine of dolls one where it says shrine used to so-called effigies as offerings the effigies are likely old dolls that were found inside and then over here it says the purpose of the shrine has since become clear it appears the dolls are believed to contain the souls of deceased children and were likely offered to the shrine as some kind of a ritual uh not the dolls offered up at the shrine but people it seemed the cavern may be where the bodies were disposed so ren was part of a ritual where they sacrifice the white-haired girl in hopes that something happens, something beneficial probably, right? He's been forced to, now he's repressing the memory. Repressing that it was maybe... Repressing that it was called real the cause of trauma. Maybe, yeah. He was a child, so he was definitely forced to do it. It would make sense why he had nightmares about it, yeah. Could it be that I found the real purpose of the shrine tried to recreate the ritual and appease the mountain's curse, but lost the context of how to do it properly? Maybe. Maybe. We still don't know the purpose of the ritual, right? No, we don't know yet. We have an inkling that the purpose of the ritual may be to try and appease the gods, you know, the, the quote gods, or like the spirits of the mountain or whatever, um, in a way to like try to preserve the children who may die early due to high infant mortality rates but exactly why we have not uh, figured out yet oh, oh my god oh my god what the hell oh that's boot Herbal medicine. Yeah. Alright. What about here. Here for here. Let's play. Nice. We found two. 
lovely child. Alright. We have two. Now we just need to find that one boy. And then we should be able to use that to figure out where Rui is. Once we find all three of the children. Oh. No, that's just the doll. Sounds like Flayon. Flayon would like be cussing at you as he ran out. Okay, I think we're in the right place. The giggles, the laughter of children. Down here? Oh, I know. Yeah. I wonder, can we proceed through the 20 crates? I have to find a door. The veiled house is accessible through the cave. Okay. So we need to find Rui first, and then we go into the cave. Where is the last child spirit? That only has pancakes. Sad. But alas. Heal? Oh, we have full health. We should be fine. Okay. Maybe... Through that hallway? So we came from this side over here already. That's where we got the, the second one. And then we got the first one over here. Uh, inside the closet. This one here. The last one... Maybe in here? Storeroom. Let's see if we can get to the storeroom. So, hallway, all the way down to the right. At the end of the hallway, took it through, through. So, hallway, all the way down, through here. And then we go through this section. If the house is full of hollow merch, does it count as a horror doll? <laughs> The ultimate fiend's house. Oh, but these dolls are really pretty. Spooky, but pretty. Okay. This last room over here. Hey! Hey! Over here! Come on! Come on! Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. It's gotta be in this room. Where are you hiding? Ah. Whoa. Oh. oh? Right there. Okay, it's just outside. He headbutted you, yeah. Okay. I feel I have a feeling that this chapter is gonna be super long too, because we have to find Dewey. I bet you there's a boss fight after that to rescue Dewey. And then after we rescue Dewey, we have to go into the caves. What does that sound? <gasps> no! Rui's journal? Why did the ghost have Rui's journal? Mr. Hojo has started acting strangely. It's like his mind is completely elsewhere. This all started when he saw the photo. He's usually on the lazy side, but now he's obsessed with tracking down these photos. I have to go with him, if only to make sure he doesn't wander off willy-nilly. Would he put this much effort into searching for me if I went missing, I wonder? Oh my god, of course he would. If I use this as a token, I can follow the trace to wherever Rui's been taken. Alright. Rui, where did you... Through here. Okay. Thankfully, now that we have Rui's journal... God, it's so dark. Where? Which way? Through here? Yeah, through here. Okay. 
left to right. that door. Okay. Open. Oh my god. What? Wait a minute. There was a spirit here. Inside? For me. You, you all right? Yes. Oh, Louis safe. Louis said there's an entrance to the cave below a doll display in the front shrine. Okay, that's the main doll shrine room. Louis. Another photo. Man. Oh, what is that glowing? Guess must be nothing. Companion mode, really. Is she really safe though? We gotta do everything we can. Not downstairs. Through this side. Down the long hallway on the right. Okay. Down the long hallway. Man. Don't stray away, Ruby. Yeah. I think she might be in companion mode, so like, as long as we walk far away enough, I'm sure she'll appear behind us, right? Hey, Elson, thank you for stopping by. Hope you get lots of sleep. Okay, so through here, and then left, double doors, all the way down, through. Take a left. No, oh, I missed it. Double doors. All the way down. Ooh, oh. What? Wait, we're fighting? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh. Oh. Ah, I'm out of film, I'm out of film. Oh, film, film, film. Please, please, please. Yeah, Louis doesn't mind at all. 
Wait, let's take a look at the photograph. What was it that we were attacking? <laughs> we were, we were like just fighting and then Dewey's just kind of standing there doing Dewey things. Ignore the fact that there's like a giant spirit right in front of us. Like right here. Okay, can we get, can we get a good picture? Ah, here we go, here we go. Man carrying a reliquary. Ah. Huh. Interesting. Why did he attack Ren though? Say. Yeah. It's the same box, if you see on the back. Why is his skin blackened? I, maybe it's because he was exposed to that black water. Because we know that when you're trapped inside the box, it floods with black water, right? Maybe because he's carrying it on his back that he's also being exposed to it. Maybe that's why. Let's go save this one. Save the Rui profile picture? Which one? This one? Rui being Rui. Save. It looks like Wabi's click on Bleach. Kind of, he does have that. Kind of does have the vibes. And this is going to look a full body glamour shot. Save. Alright. That one's pretty, right? Magical girl moment. <laughs> Ignore the fact that all the sparkles is because we're exercising a ghost. Okay, nothing down that side. Nothing down that side. Double door straight ahead. Ghost glitter. <laughs> Through here, around the sign, and now we're back in the main doll shrine room. Oh. Oh. You found me. You are. You didn't keep it with you. My token. Token? Did you lose it? But our promise. Her outfit is all black. Right now, as an entity, as a spirit, she's all wearing all black. In Ren's memory, she was wearing all white. Ren. <laughs> Anything to say? Oh, no dialogue. I thought there was gonna be more dialogue. Yeah, in, in Ren's memory, what happened in the past, um, she was wearing a white kimono because of the black water. Maybe, yeah. She looks like a child, both children. At the time, yeah. Black with spider lilies. Thanks. You, you know, I've been waiting. Hmm? For someone to choose me. I've been waiting so long for you. What are you talking about? Really? I... It's not important. I understand now. Well, I don't understand it at all. The girl. She's been waiting too. For the person with her token. Snap out of it. What are you talking about? Oh no. I don't like 
this. No, not really. No, it doesn't sound like me. Yeah, because really we'll be talking about like some like spooky facts and stuff. The passage appears to be lit with electric lights. Where does the passage lead to? Is refused. Yeah, we we'll discussed that real quick. A little bit. Electric stuff, yeah. Gotta, gotta fake them out so the ghost doesn't know whether I'm going for it or not. Okay. Can we open this? The door will budge. Alright, so I guess we have to go through that. Little crack in the uh, the wall. Not that way. This way, and then around. And we're gonna have to crawl through that small area, if I remember correctly, to get. Yeah, here we go. Have to crawl through here, and there should be a door. That one over there that we couldn't open as Yudi. Maybe able to open as Ren. The door is locked. Camera Obscura is reacting to it. Oh? It's in this room. It's in one of the boxes. It's in this room, and it's in one of the boxes. Uh, wait. Uh, okay, so the crawl space is over there in that corner, and it's the one that's open here, between the crawl space. So, it's gotta be this one. Right here. A finely decorated black wooden box. The lid is shut and I can't get it open. Okay, so if it's a psychic photo, we have to stand back partially open box immersed in water, filled with dark water. So if we angle it the same. Mm, not quite. Where was it? It's gotta be this though, right? Uh, maybe it's... more like this? Okay, so it's the box. Oh. Okay, it's the box over here. One, two, three. One, two, three, right? So it would be one, two, three. Yeah, three boxes in the frame. So we have to go here. Get one, two, three boxes. But we can't actually step back that far. Huh? But there's four, yeah. Well, hmm. I don't think we use this box. I think it's one of these three boxes here, but I don't know why they're not in the right position. The lid is shut and I can't get it open. Okay, what about this one? The lid is shut and I can't get it open. <gasps> oh! Oh yeah.
Drop something when it disappeared. It looks like an old metal plate key. Oh, yeah. Also, chat, I think, uh, I think my, my eye tracker, it's like stuck onto the bottom of a monitor with adhesive. I think it's been hot enough that the adhesive is actually coming off, which is why it falls down and my eye tracker stops working. Oh. <gasps> Ren. It's the house. It's the veiled house. Yeah. Oh. Is, is someone here? Let's go in. Also, I think chat may have frozen again. If it has, then you can just go ahead and use the reaction. That's not okay. Teacups and tobacco tray on a dusty table. Why is the TV on? Small set of drawers. They've expanded with moisture and won't open. The television is switched on. The screen is blurred with static, but I can't make anything out. No, it doesn't react. Typical Koi's room. This? A wooden box on top of a low chest of drawers. The hinge is rusted and will not open. Medicine. Oh. Oh. <gasps> okay, we gotta save that photo. Watarai. <sighs> Say that. The missing friend? I don't think so. <gasps> oh. Ren, you're too late. I, I'm already buried. Kazuya? 
Really? Is that him? This is just like, like that picture you were looking at. <gasps> Kazuya. Oh my god, she's so pretty. Look at those eyes. It's exactly the same picture as the photo album. Did Kazuya come here because of that too? Keiji Watanai. You want to see her, like, cl close? We can see her. So that's the photo of, of the, the wife. Or the bride, I should say. An old black and white photo. The bride is in a white kimono, looks lonely. But do keep in mind that this is a post-mortem photo. She's already dead. Just, just, just making sure that you all know it's a post-mortem photograph. She's already dead. Yeah, if looks can kill. She's dead in the photo? Yep. That's, that's the whole point. All of these photos are of pictures of dead people who are posed to make them look lifelike. And this is a post-mortem photograph of a bride. She's a beautiful ghost now. Honestly though, this is goals. Right here, like if I were to die and become a ghost, I want to look this good. Right before I die, so that like you lock it in for all eternity. <laughs> but yeah, as far as we know, this is this is legitimately a post-mortem photograph um, featuring all the just the dead people. Fair, same. <laughs> She's gorgeous though, right? I don't know. There's something about her eyes. It's really nice. All right, chat. I would like to continue, but I think I may have to go and call it because now we're approaching 2 a.m. and I am like starting to feel it. I know, like I'm like as I say this, I am like in the process of like going more. <laughs> Okay, let's read this one. Let's read this one, and then we'll come. Folklorist notes. So these are notes by Keiji Watarai. I think, chronologically, this is... Before? Is it before or is it after the inn was established? This is absolutely... This is definitely before the inn got demolished by the landslide this is way before that but I'm not sure when KG put this together because we don't really know what the house is Algos Red Mage Okoidi thank you for reaping the membership thank you, thank you let's we'll read this real quick and then we'll call it for the day uh, there is a particular custom in this country it varies from region to region but the root is the same it is mysterious yet somehow beautiful. In order to understand it, I have traveled across the country before settling on this mountain. The beauty of this mount morning too, the palpable heartbreak of the sun setting behind the mountain, and the grave, solemn night that envelops it. On the mountain, water itself is revered. But why? To try and understand this, I have made this mountain my home. This must have been before. He must have heard the stories of how the water is treated as deified. It's like revered for bringing life and also where life ends, which is where the, the, um, the sacrifices and the, the dolls with like human remains inside. He must have heard these stories, which is why he's come to this particular mountain. So this is before the inn was established. Water itself is revered, but why? To understand this, I made this mountain my home. So he's heard stories and he set up this home. This this home here. Oh my god, Louis. Oh my god, Louis. So he set this place up to try to maybe study, learn. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> 
the innkeeper's dad built a house for him when he was in the, it was just being established. Oh, so maybe more like um, at the same time, perhaps. Okay, one more photograph of Rui because Rui is great, and we need to protect Rui at all costs. Ah, uh, wait, that's a lot of photographs. Sorry. And I just used up all my last photos. Yeah. All right, chat. Wait. What? Louis? What are you guys looking at? <gasps> oh, wait, look, look, look. If you stand here, they were like looking up at that thing. That's really cool. Hang on. Yeah, see? Look, both Rui and Ren are looking up at, at that, the hole? What? Sorry, chat. This is me just doing more like one more. One more thing. <laughs> no, no, no. I have to sleep. I cannot be distracted. Yeah, this is the one more thing. Okay. No, no. I have to go to sleep. I have to go to sleep. <sighs> Alright. Chat. I'm going to go ahead and hit the outro so it forces me to end. Thank you all for stopping by. It was a lot of fun. We're going to pick it up tomorrow and on Thursday. And the hope is that we're going to finish the game by Thursday because uh, permissions for this is wonky. But hopefully we'll make some good progress tomorrow. I'll see you soon, chat. Koyasumi. Gonna go and make sure I save before I quit. Um, I'm not doing like one more stuff, I'm like saving. All right, okay, all right, let's see. Before we <laughs> let me go ahead and see who is currently streaming. I don't know if anyone is streaming right now, but I'm gonna try to see if I can send you over to one of the boys who might be streaming. I oh, sorry, I have to refresh. Now that I've refreshed, I should be able to see. Um, who is currently alive and streaming? Do, 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 do. I currently do not see anyone available to stream. So I suppose I'll go ahead and send you off over to Shein Senpai. Uh, Shin Senpai is waiting room? Yeah. Oh, no. Shin Senpai is live, actually. Alright. We'll send you over to Shin Senpai. It looks like he just started like three minutes ago. That's why it didn't show up on mine. Alright. Um, I don't have anything to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please look forward to this week for Tempest HQ's anniversary stream. But otherwise, I will see you all tomorrow with some more Fatal Frame. Quiescent me, everybody. Quiescent me. Thank you.